What is going on, guys? Welcome to the stream. The stream of all streams. It's going to be a uh, very interesting day. I'm pretty excited. Sorry if you heard that echo. But uh, what is going on, guys? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you being here so early. We're going to watch the uh, Xbox game showcase, the pre-show. Then we're going to watch the actual event. So it's going to be a good time for sure. Um, so uh, right now they're doing the countdown. Sorry if my stuff's in the way here. I'm going to keep this up just to make sure the audio levels are good temporarily. I do have the uh, actual YouTube player muted right now. So I'll unmute that as we get closer, just because it's playing background music that, frankly, I don't feel like hearing right now. But yeah, um, this is the big day for Xbox, man. And I, I told you guys my expectations in yesterday's video. I guess I'll just give you a quick, uh, brief rundown before we actually get into the show here today. Essentially, I think that this is a moment where Xbox has to just go all in. They have to just show everything. Everything that they have ready to go, they have to show it. I feel like it would be a mistake for them to hold anything back. There's a chance they might hold some stuff back. Um, somewhat understandably, they may just want to have more stuff to show later in the year. It would kind of make sense for them to do that, but I don't know. I just feel like if this show has enough impact, they won't need to worry about, you know, having stuff saved to show. They may also be worried about Sony. We know that Sony is probably sitting back watching this show, you know, looking at that God of War sequel PlayStation 5 trailer and they have it locked and loaded and ready to go at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's something that Sony could be doing, but um, I don't know what to expect from this pre-show, to be completely honest. I'm not expecting much. I hope it's not, like, too cringe or anything, and I hope that there's some decent announcements, but truthfully, I don't have much expectation for the live show or the pre-show. Um, it's going to be an hour long, though, so I have to imagine there's going to be some significant stuff here. Uh, and I, I will try my best when the actual game showcase kicks off at 12 p.m. Eastern. When that does kick off, I'm going to do my best to not talk too much during it. But after all, this is a live reaction. So you're definitely going to see some reactions out of me. And I'm assuming that's why you're tuning in. But yeah, I want to ask you guys, for those who are here right now, well, first of all, thank you for joining me. Appreciate that. Do me a favor, hit that like button to help the stream out. Um, let's see if we can get to 500 likes. We'll see how, you know, how much further past that we can go. But likes help out the stream tremendously. And yeah, so if you could do that for me, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, obviously, become a member, join the channel, help me out. Um, some people have been asking me recently about my merch. Like, when's that going up? Uh, that's going to go up probably within the next couple weeks. So look forward to that. Um, some people have been asking me about Aaron Greenberg's tweet earlier where he was basically acknowledging that they're going to show some Xbox One stuff. Uh, it's going to be mostly Gen 9 heavy, like Generation 9 heavy is what he was saying. Um, let me see here. Demetrius, you're saying MBG, you are amazing. I've been watching your channel since its inception and you are the place I go to for all things video game news. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Uh, Demetrius, I really do appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate the kind words, buddy, and I'm glad that you can uh, enjoy what I do here on the channel. Really, really very much appreciate that. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Uh, if I sound a little bit groggy, it's because um, I actually didn't finish drinking my coffee. I still have it here with me, but uh, I don't, I don't want to, you know, get too excited too quickly. Um, listen, I know, I understand, like, this is an interesting moment on my channel because, you know, this is a, um, 
you know, before I get into that, I do want to just finish what I was saying about Aaron Greenberg's tweet. I will admit, like, he was basically saying that they're going to be showing some Xbox One stuff as well during the show. That's why they didn't call it an Xbox Series X showcase or a next-gen showcase, which to me, that's, I feel like he shouldn't have said that because that's just like, look, I get it. Like, technically speaking, every game you're going to show will be playable on the Xbox One, but I feel that the Xbox One should have a very, like, pretty much it shouldn't play a role in this show at all. Like, the pre-show, that's fine, but the actual showcase, if that's what he was referring to, I genuinely feel that that's not something he should have said. Um, You know, I mean, I appreciate the transparency and trying to keep people's expectations in check, but not the time to be doing that. Maybe it's better he said that. I don't know. Brandon's Legion, you're saying Starfield trailer rumored. Hmm. Uh, Danoki, you're saying you always sound so sad when you talk about Xbox. Honestly, it might just be the combination that I haven't. I'm talking about Xbox and I haven't had my coffee uh, yet or I haven't finished my coffee. So, yeah, I'm, I'm one of those people where I can't really function properly unless I have my full dose of caffeine because I'm addicted. What coffee are you drinking? Um, I think it's just Maxwell House. Uh, they're regular brew. I think I have some Amaretto Creamer. Uh, I think that's what I had in my re- refrigerator, so I just went with that. I can't drink my coffee black. Can't do it. I've tried to. I just can't enjoy it that way. Maybe I'm soft. I don't know. Kevin Phillips, thank you so much for that donation, buddy. I appreciate that. But yeah, um, I wanted to say, like, before we get into the show, I know, you know, I know what this is like, what this is on my channel. For those of you who've been following me for a while, I feel like there's two groups of people right now, and I'm just going to ask you guys to just chill out because you're going to get an honest reaction out of me, first of all. So if you're somebody who is anticipating that, oh, he's just going to hate, MBG's just going to hate on anything Xbox does, he doesn't care, he just wants to, you know, he just wants to dump all over them and No, like, I'm not going to do that. Like, I would only honestly do that if they showed some stuff that I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like, is this real right now? I mean, the expectation here is at the at the bare minimum. You know, (laughs) you're saying being caffeine dependent is not good, man. Caffeine consumption over a lifetime can take two years off your life expectancy. Two years. Damn, that's it for drinking coffee on a regular basis. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Two years. That's all right. If it was like 15 years or something, then I'd be like, hmm, caffeine isn't that bad for you. I mean, the addictive quality of it, yeah, nobody wants to be addicted to anything. But hey, like it it does have some benefits. You just can't go overboard. I don't go overboard. Uh, Let me see here. Avalavan, Avalavan Crane, hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. You're saying hoping for a good show so that Microsoft can actually show some competition other than more power. 100% agree, buddy. Thank you for that super chat, and I 100% agree. This is why I'm letting people know that I'm not going into this looking to make fun of Xbox, looking to hate on them. To be 100% honest and transparent, I'm going into this hoping that I actually am like, wow, like that looks really cool. And look at that. Like this, I want to play this. You know what I mean? Um, That's the expectation. I want to see them bring the big guns, man. I want to see them go toe to toe with Sony. Uh, Because the truth is, guys, like the better, um, you know, the better that Microsoft does here at this event, the harder it's going to push Sony, the more it's going to keep Sony on their toes. And that's good for us. Like, I know we are a PlayStation centric channel at this point. I know many of you are uh, big PlayStation fans, but you have to hope for a good show because the better the competition, the better it's going to be for us. You know, frankly, the more pressure Sony applies not Sony, Microsoft applies to Sony, the better it's going to be for the gamer, the better it's going to be for the PlayStation fan. And it's good for the Xbox fans as well. You know, this is their moment. For for those who have like been 100% loyal to Xbox this entire time, this is their moment, man. And uh, I will let you know right now that I'm aware that Halo Infinite is going to take up a pretty significant chunk of this show. I heard it's going to be 10 to 15 minutes. I'm fine with that. It's expected. But I'm going to be real right now. I've never really been that into Halo. So I'm going to be looking to you guys to let me know how what you think about the Halo showcase. Because I think the Halo Infinite showcase is going to be critical to the success of this show. I really do think that. 
Although I am tired of like the whole Halo Gear Sports thing, but still Halo is very important for Xbox. But I'm I've never been like a hardcore Halo fan, so I don't really know like what the general expectation is from Halo fans for Halo Infinite other than that they expect it to uh star Master Chief, obviously, no more lock, right? But when it comes to like the gameplay aspect of it, I don't really know what people are expecting. And so I'm gonna be looking to the chat. Anybody who is a Halo fan, anybody who is excited to see this Halo Infinite gameplay, make sure you let me know. Uh, because I, you know, I'm just kind of looking at it as if it looks cool and exciting. Cool. But I, again, as somebody who's never really been a big Halo fan, it would be like seeing Gear 6, right? I've never been that into Gears as well. A lot of people always ask me, like, dude, how could you have been such a big Xbox fan if you weren't into these franchises? And I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, they just never really appealed to me. I guess I just other aspects of Xbox are what kind of, you know, won me, won me over and at the time and made me kind of jump into the 360. But yeah, I'm going to uh, ask you guys to just try your best to, you know, be respectful in the chat. I mean, obviously the more people that file in over time, the chat is probably going to get a little out of hand. I'm just going to, you know, kindly ask that you guys try your best to just keep it civil. I know there's always going to be the trolls and whatnot, but you know, it's a good time. It's a good time. Uh, we got the PlayStation event in June. Here we are with the Xbox event in July. And it's just a good time to be a gamer. I know that sounds cheesy. I know that sounds cliche. But we have to just try our best to just be excited, man. I mean, is there a chance that Microsoft could drop the ball here and that this show could be a major disappointment? Of course, there's always that chance. But I would say this is not the time to anticipate that. Will it be as big as everybody's hoping? That's a different question. Uh, Booty, 2002, you're saying, MBG, can we get some feet pics? Okay, this is clearly going to be something that continues to live on my channel, probably for the duration of my channel's life. Um, I'm going to say right now, no, you're not going to get uh, any feet pics. So, yeah. I'm just going to let you know now as well if you... Thank you, JD Bear. Um... Yeah, so try not to spam because you will end up getting banned from the channel if you do that. I understand that some people like to spam, but I'm just giving you a heads up. If that happens, you're you're most likely going to end up getting banned. Um, NES Ninja Skills, you're saying, Yo, MBG, hopefully Xbox brings it. Though I game on both platforms, I'm more of a PlayStation guy. But yeah, competition is good. It makes next gen more exciting. Well, thank you so much for that super chat, buddy. I really do appreciate it. And... You know, I'm in agreement with you, man. Like, we need to see that competition. I haven't really played on my Xbox in quite some time, but I'd be lying if I said, hey, I want Xbox to do badly. No, no, I, I want to see them do well. I really do. So I agree, man. It, it will make next gen in general more exciting. Uh, let me just make sure I'm not missing any here. No feet picks. Sorry, buddy. Uh, and then we have Samson. You're saying hopefully Microsoft's next gen... Has good stuff to play on my PC. I'm picking up the PS5 though. Yeah, that's another thing as well that is worth noting here is because Microsoft is planning to put all of their stuff onto PC and whatnot. Um, you know, you're going to be able to, if you're somebody who wants to buy a PlayStation 5 day one, you're going to be able to, you know, enjoy it on PC or whatever. So I'm going to put this on here, guys. Give me just a second. I may have to adjust the audio. You'll have to let me know. Music is about to start now. So let me know how that is. I'm going to look at the levels right here. It's looking pretty even. Got about 30 seconds left. Got to uh, Eddie, who you're saying, just want to show my support, man. So damn excited for this show. I'm losing track. Make Sony compete. Imagine what Sony can do when they have some great competition. We all win. By the way, the new thumbnails look great. Well, thank you so much for that. I'm glad you like the new thumbnails. And I agree 100%, buddy. I agree 100%. I'm going to let you guys know, for those who do Super Chats during the uh, stream, I will try my best to get to them at an appropriate time. If I don't, we'll get to them later on. If you have to pick Bug Snacks or Platinum Trophy, The Last of Us 2, frankly, I'm going to pick Bug Snacks. I'm going to go full screen in just a second. Yusuf, you're saying, what exclusive reveals, even if unlikely, would you like to see? Love your Hello, content and videos. Keep up it's the amazing Jeff work. Keely, and 
Welcome I don't to know, this man. special Xbox I don't know. game showcase. I want to get to these super chats, but... leading up to the big main showcase that happens in one hour at the top of the next hour. Uh, welcome second, to guys. YouTube Gaming and our exclusive we'll coverage. This, this obviously is uh, a different year for all of us in 2020. And normally every year, I love getting together with with everyone around the world to watch all the E3 events, but. This year, of course, uh, given where the world's at, we're doing a, things virtually. Right uh, before we get into going. this, I certainly want to acknowledge uh, everything that is still happening around the world with the COVID pandemic um, and certainly hope everyone is safe and uh, feeling OK today and excited about How video games, on which end, uh, I think have been a How's source of comfort for many know. of us in 2020. So today is really about celebrating games and the future of games and where games are going um in the future you know this is still a big year for games Too and loud. the new consoles are launching and today is all about xbox this and the xbox series x which is coming out this holiday season i don't, think, I don't know although today is end. less about hardware and is going to be more about the games and in our pre-show we've got a lot of great guests joining okay. us to preview what we expect from xbox we also have some world premieres and some great new game stuff to show you guys as well. Uh, the Xbox story for Series X, of course, started I last year. To the game super chats I wasn't able to get to you guys. The Xbox Try to remind me at the end to go back. Hardware on stage. I, I, uh, at I certainly miss memories of thousands I can't. of people together. As you can see, it's already a little bit choppy. Shocking the world with I don't that know why it's last choppy, year. Though. Uh, that was such a special moment Trey, saying, that no one MBG had any clue was good. It was about to Not happen. an Xbox fan whatsoever. The hardware there. Uh, would get a chuckle um, but of course, Microsoft everyone wants to know about the today. games that are going to run we all on need the Microsoft system. And today is all about a game of the that industry. was agree, sort of mentioned in that um, teaser. Halo. Halo Infinite. We are going to get again, a I apologize first if I missed any look at the gameplay of the campaign of Halo Infinite in the Xbox Game Showcase. That's something that we're all very excited to see. I'm sure we'll be talking about that. It might a lot be because I'm using the next ultra hour. low latency mode. Uh, and Xbox has already said mistake. we're not going to hear a lot about yeah, hardware really today. Choppy. We don't expect to hear the release date for well, actually, Series X. I think we it's don't expect to hear about end pricing. End as well. um, it really is going to be a showcase all about games kind of and focused a lot more on their first party studios, meaning games that are coming exclusively um, to the Xbox Maybe ecosystem, which of course includes Game Pass, Jeff PC, and even xCloud. Right, well, um, talking, there's there's so a lot a to talk about kind of what Xbox is doing with gaming and their approach. Um, so we've got some world premieres for you and we've got a lot of guests. So let's get ready for the countdown here. 58 minutes away from the show. Uh, before All right, how we about get now? To our first this is better. Premiere, though, I want to welcome some panelists to talk. Am about I too loud now? You're saying uh, Xbox. audio is so fine, but up, I can barely hear you also. My good buddy, Jack Septic I'm streaming guy. at 1060 Jack, will cause issues show. for everyone. Hi. Yeah. It's good to be here. Right. Thankfully, it's, it's a to have you. Yeah, his stream in, in Los Angeles. As We've you can see, I don't know. It's here, kind of choppy on both ends here. Hey, good. <laughs> How are you? It's kind of choppy on his end as well. So there's not much I can do about that. And finally, we've got a guy who... Who got to go up to Microsoft and check out the Xbox Series X hardware before lockdown? Austin Evans. Now I'm too Austin, loud. Good I'll try to put up a little man. bit. See, this is why hey, I do Jeff, the pre-show stuff. Me, yeah, great to have all you guys here. So let's kick things off here by talking about what you want to see from Xbox today. Uh, you know, they had an event back in May that people wanted to see even more um, from. They wanted to see, you know, more gameplay, more games. They wanted to see Halo. They're going to deliver that today. Uh, what are your expectations as as fans of games? What what do you want to see at the top of the hour from Xbox? Let's let's start with you, Jack. Um, well, I mean, our, the big elephant in the room, the big chief elephant in the room, is everyone just wants to see Halo Infinite, and I'm I'm really curious because I'm not the biggest Halo fan, but this even this one has kind of gotten me intrigued and excited. So I'm curious to see about that. I want to see more Hellblade Two if we're going to get some of that because the I want to see we saw the trailer too. at the Game Awards and we were sitting in that theater. And that music kicked in and rocked everyone's socks. I was really impressed with that and seeing what the hardware is. The stream do still really choppy for you guys. There. Um, I'm a sucker for FromSoft games. I, my heart's going to be broken when we don't see Elden Ring today. But it's been so long since it was announced. I, I see need Elden to see Ring it somewhere too. and see that it's, it still exists. And as long as I get a good world premiere, I'll be happy. Oh wait, wait, well, wait! We got the world premiere voice guy actually doing the voice here when we come to our first oh my world God. premiere. So it's Christmas. I'm here, here to take, <laughs> take care of you. But yes, as you said, um, you know everyone would love to see Elden Ring. Everyone would love to to see new game announcements too. Um, you mentioned Halo, Lauren. Is that is that the big thing for you? Like seeing Halo? What are you excited to see? No, so I feel like Halo okay. was like my first introduction into 
like first person shooter games and why I should not play them because I'm horrible at them. But that was like my first, it holds a special place in my heart because like that was the first time realizing I was terrible at them. Um, I'm really excited. I'm big into like psychological horror games. Uh, so the medium, I really, really want to see more uh, about. I want to see gameplay. They haven't told us a whole lot about it, um, but I'm I'm living for it. Like the Silent Hill music, everything. Um, and Everwild is the other one I'm really interested uh, for, like to see more about because both of those are kind of a mystery. I haven't I haven't seen much on them. Oh, that that's great because as you said, there are lots of other games across the studios. Everwild that they teased last year at EXO from Rare looked really interesting. I agree. Hopefully, we'll get to see something on that. Tim Schafer has got uh, Psychonauts that, you know, they acquired that studio. Hopefully there'll be an update on that one. And, and they said Microsoft's got so many studios, so many games um, across the portfolio that I think we'll get hopefully some new game announcements and also some updates on those existing ones. Um, Austin, you are one of the, the few people, I think, in the world that, uh, you know, got to check out uh, Series X. You got, I remember you did, sort of, you, know, you got to check out Gears, how that was looking on the hardware and everything like that. So you have a really interesting perspective on this. Um, what do you want to see at Xbox today? So, I mean, I love the nerdy details, right? I want to see the 120 FPS and the HDR and the, all the, the ray tracing. I'm really interested in seeing kind of like what this next generation is able to do as far as pushing the envelope forward, right? I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be all over Halo. I really want to see what they're able to do, especially considering that that's going to be a game that will be on Xbox One and sort of assuming with PC and Series X and kind of seeing how they're able to stretch that. And I'm definitely a huge fan of the Forza franchise, right? I mean, that's sort of been really, you look back at the Xbox One generation for me, I have definitely spent more time playing for the Forza games as well as the Horizon games more than anything else, right? So that uh, definitely has like a special place in my heart from the gaming side. But what I'm really curious about is getting a really good look at kind of what this new slate of titles look like, right? I mean, obviously we know that there are a bunch of games that are coming out sort of holiday season. I'm assuming we're probably going to see some games kind of teased for the next maybe year or two or whatever the case is. But I really want to see a good sense of what the Xbox Series X is capable of, right? I've seen little bits and pieces. I got to try a couple of tech demos. I know the specs. I know all the kind of the, the basic stuff. But what I really want to do is kind of see how all of that comes together and brings what this next generation is all about. Yeah, no, I think that's a great point. It's, you know, they keep saying how powerful this console is. Like we want to see that power, right? And see what this is able to do. And Microsoft's philosophy on Xbox that Phil Spencer has expressed is, you know, a little bit different than PlayStation. They're saying that all these games are going to show you today conceivably will still work on your current Xbox, will work on PC, and they might, you know, they work better on the new Xbox. But I'm curious for you guys, um, you know, how does that affect your sort of, decision on what you're going to do with Xbox, like what's going to cause you to, to want to upgrade to the next system? Because it's it's different that, you know, Halo, as you said, will work probably on if you have an Xbox right now to work on the current system. So I assume part of what they have to show today is why it's going to be even better on the next one. Yeah, I, mean, I think for definitely what I expect. Yeah, I think for me, what I what I like most about the Xbox that kind of sits at, in, in my house is like we always get Sony with their exclusives, and I would love to see some really cool exclusives come out of Microsoft today. It's the the, the thing that people keep talking about all the time. But I love uh, the kind of home entertainment aspect of my Xbox. I love the the kind of UI and the the, the speed of the system and kind of sitting down. I use it for everything. I, I only use my PlayStation for gaming, but I really use my Xbox for almost everything. I, I watch Netflix on it. I watch movies and I play my my 4K Blu-rays and everything on it because my my PlayStation couldn't do that. So I, I'm really curious to see how they evolve kind of the, the OS of the system and make it snappier and faster and how you're able to switch between games on the fly and being able to have all of those old games be playable on the new one. They keep talking about backwards compatibility a lot and how that's a big factor for them. And I'm curious to see how far that goes and how many games you can really play with that and how far they're pushing it and stuff like Game Pass has come out and it's it's kind of a game changer because there's so many times when I just go on and I don't want to buy a new game, but I, it's, Game Pass is a good way of kind of trying it out and testing it and just downloading it there and playing straight away. And I, I really love that aspect. So I want to see how far they push that and xCloud, I think is what their trump card will be this time, at least for me personally, the way I consume the, the media on my Xbox. 
Yeah, no, I yeah, think that, no, I, as you said, the Game Pass is another big part of it that, you know, a lot of these games now come out as part of Game Pass. I think Microsoft has said kind of all their first party titles are are in Game Pass. And that, I think, lets people sample more games, right? It's no longer like you have to spend $60 to to play everything. Um, Austin, I want to ask you about the the specs and the, you know, the frame rates and all that type of stuff. You know, you live in the world of, of tech and, you know, RDNA architectures and whatnot. Like, what do you think... What does that all mean to the gamers? Like, how do you think the games are going to be different? Or what are the things we should look for here in, you know, ray tracing and things like that? Like, what do you think are going to be some of the big leaps that we're going to see um, in some of these games, hopefully, today? So I think the interesting way of looking at sort of the previous generation, sort of Xbox One, PS4, going into this new generation is that it's a much more well-rounded package, right? So you look at something like the Xbox Series X, spec-wise, it is equivalent to a very high-end gaming PC. That's not something we've seen in the console space for a long time, right? You look at the Xbox One, it had good graphics, right? It was able to provide some really impressive games. You look at something like Red Dead 2 running on an original Xbox One, it's really impressive that that was able to be sort of accomplished. But the thing is, this generation, with the Series X, we have not only the SSD, which I think people are going to very quickly get used to, not minute load times, but you know, a few second load times. But also you have that really powerful CPU, which is going to enable these bigger open worlds, sort of more interesting looking physics. And then you have on the graphics side, not only sort of more detailed things. And I think the higher frame rates are something that, especially as more and more TVs are developing that sort of tech that people are going to really start to appreciate. But also these new features like ray tracing, right? Which are just going to help ground these worlds in a much more sort of realistic sort of location. Like I guess for me, it's more about making the console a much more complete package, right? You're not sort of sacrificing because you're playing on your PC versus your Xbox or anything. Like you're going to be getting a very similar level of performance. And in a lot of cases, something like the Series X is going to be significantly more powerful than any other gaming device in your home. Yep. All right. Well, hopefully we're going to get to see some of that. Uh, Lauren, you, you get the last word here. Anything you're hoping is a surprise today? You talked about some of the games we know about, like the Medium and Everwild. Anything that you're secretly hoping they, they show here in some way? Uh, I, 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 you know, I was looking yesterday to see if there was anything I could think of that, like, <clears throat> they could surprise me with. Um, I've personally been more of, like, PC gamer, uh, PlayStation. So if they can surprise me and pull me in with more, like, Xbox exclusive exclusives um yeah. i mean game pass has been a game changer for me oh, i've been sorry, using guys. that I'm a lot lately um, right <laughs> so just like bringing me into that ecosystem Oof. if they can do that like then they've they've surprised me so <laughs> no and that's that's part of what they're trying to do here is you yeah. said you know you can play all this stuff on your pc you can play you know on your phone via x cloud and like you know bringing more games to more people so i said hopefully we'll see a bunch of games today right and we know halo Gosh, is going to be a big know. focus um but obviously they've the got a lot of other things to uh, fill out that hour all right well uh thanks uh lauren austin and uh jack we will uh see you guys uh later we'll all be watching live uh and we do have some special world premieres uh, throughout this show. We've got a number. I think we've got over, I think, a half dozen things we're going to show you guys over the next uh, 45 minutes here to give you a little preview of some stuff that uh, will be coming to Xbox. And we're going to start right now uh, with this world premiere announcement. Check it out. Oh, our, world our first premiere. world premiere. I'm going to do the rest of the uh, commentary like this. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary. Know this. The Luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. A hero will surely arise to take yeah, the sword in hand copy. once more. At least on my end, I don't know why. Domo, game designer no Horiyujis. 1980年に日本で第一作目となるドローンクエストというロールペイングゲームを発売して、こちらサイトに注目してください。it shouldn't be my PC, man. A lot of people are saying it's fine. 
冒険の舞台はロッテゼッタッシュというさまざまな地形がある広大な世界です街は武器を買ったりクエストを受けたりできる冒険の拠点です,点です自分の話も聞けるでしょう I'm not aware of I'm sorry if I lose people for this, but I gotta figure this out. Frankly, I don't really care what's on screen right now. I just gotta be honest. So, I apologize, but I have to figure out why the stream's so choppy. Maybe I should lower the bit rate. I have it at 4,500. This is what I normally have it at. There you go. Dragon Quest coming for the first time to Xbox. And now we're going to get right 4, into another world premiere. This is a brand new game announcement. Um, a smaller team and studio that has a new helps. title to announce uh, today on the pre show. So take a look at this. I'll see if that helps at all. I just want to make sure because once the actual stream starts, like the real game showcase, I don't want that to be choppy. Because like I'm watching it in front of me right now and it doesn't look that choppy. So I don't know how the stream looks on your end. I'll keep it up for a little bit. All right, that's Exomecha, a, a brand new free to play game uh, coming uh, in late play. 2021. And that's a first look at that. Uh, we do have. More new uh, games and some cool stuff. We've got something very cool to wrap up the pre show as our last premiere that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Um, so stick around. And of course, at the top of the hour, we're going to get a look at a lot of the first party games uh, from Microsoft, including the world gameplay debut of Halo Infinite. Uh, right now, though, we're going to turn to our second panel to preview what we're hoping, uh, all our hopes and dreams for Xbox today. Uh, joining me first off is Aaron Hansen from the game Grumps. Aaron, you ready for blanks? Oh, dude, you're way ahead of me, dude, brother. Guys, I, I don't. All, like, I'm sorry, this sucks. And like, I don't want to watch this. Right. <laughs> this is a terrible pre-show. Like, well, like the time what is this? Return. All right. Uh, you're seeing other streamers, Aaron. and it's choppy uh, we got too. Danny O'Dwyer from uh, No Clip. Hey, Danny, how you doing? Uh, yeah. Hey, okay. Hey, I hope it's not on my end, man. For uh, Aaron to get his blanks. He's been waiting but for I'm like, just not what's, digging what's this format, dude. Like, I'm not trying to hear all these people's uh, opinions. You know, yeah, it's getting up on my end. All these new studios and all these new games that all there are. I'm about to not watch do. this. It's, it's all about the blinks. But bring back the time sweeper, right? That's, that's clearly the closer of the show. Right? I don't know. know I just something. don't know how many people are here right <laughs> now because they want to see got this. Alana Pierce joining us. Hey, Alana. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. All right, you're all chipper. We're ready to go. This is Xbox oh Day. Um, going to be <laughs> oh hopefully some excitement um, for all of us uh, with what Xbox has in store. So we joked about uh, Blinks, but Xbox has a lot of franchises. Dude, a lot it's of kind of funny at this point, though. Over the past uh, 20 years. It's not I'm against Jeff either. Like, I, I think he does panel. a good job. And it's what not against any of these guys either. But what, I'm just what do like... you want to see from Xbox in this next hour that's going to, you know, convince you Come on jeff when are you gonna uh, ask me you should have had me on i'll tell you what i want to see uh, you know charting the future of gaming uh aaron let's take blinks off the table beyond that what <laughs> else can we do for you today uh well you know if i'm gonna be honest man i want to know what the heck's going on with exo mecca because that like i was not expecting something like that and holy That's crap a transformer that, like, action that appealed to like my 80s, early 90s. MBG, you're on next. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, dude, with the way I look right now, I, I would. Punching each other. I don't want to be on camera. Dragon, I guess that breeds fire. <laughs> I didn't do my hair Great, today, so let's do it. It's kind of crazy right, so right now. All right, so Exo Becca, clearly at the top of, top of the pile, they've already won you over, Danny. Uh, 
you know, you visit a lot of studios around the world when we can mm. um, hear about them, uh, you know, hear their stories. No clip. You do some incredible documentaries uh, from your perspective. Like what does Xbox, what does Xbox have to do today? What do you want to see in this? You got to bring it, man. Well, we've had uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, doing a lot of acquisitions over the past couple of years um, and a lot of studios that were sort of working on games, perhaps, or working on smaller games for them. So I think what I'm excited for today is for a bunch of those studios to maybe show something off. So one studio we visited earlier this year uh, was Obsidian, who uh, were working on Grounded. They've uh, been It seems like the stream's a little bit smoother now on my end, um, maybe lowering the bit rate. So uh, I'm interested to see if we'll see... What everyone hopes. In case you guys can tell, I'm anxiety budget that it's not going to be a smooth stream. Um, that's kind of on my top list. Of, and I can just uh, never tell like if it's on my the other end, one is their end. what's happened to Fable. Obviously, in the past couple of you know, Lionhead isn't in the round anymore. Um, there's a lot of rumor that uh, Playground, who work on uh, the Forza series, may have sort of yeah. Like, I don't know, guys. Like I don't. Um, it's been rumored that I guess I'll just talk over it because this is just kind of like well, so. I don't even know. Of the two like, I didn't know I'm that's what this stream was. Just I thought there was going to be like more reveals. The rest of their acquisitions. I didn't think they were just going to bring sure a bunch not. of people and be like, so, teams. I'm sure they're not what do you like expect? Like, projects, what do you think but, we you know, expect, man? Like, maybe they're on. Everybody should be expecting the something. same thing. Some big ass games. No, I think some RPGs is a nice great ass looking uh, genre, <laughs> right? Where it's like Xbox has done lots of action games, but doing RPG stuff, I think, is an opportunity for them to show some great stuff in the RPG genre. Alana, what's uh, you know? I know you've been fan fan of Gears. You've been fans of uh, you know. You're excited about Cyberpunk that's coming out. That obviously will be on all systems, but on Xbox as well. Um, what do you, what do you want to see from from Team Xbox this morning? Also, blinks. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I I love Fable. I really want a new Fable. Like Danny well, said, we're definitely uh, see it's rumored Fable. that Playground Games are working on it, and I buy that rumor. They hired a lot of people from uh, a lot of studios known for making really big games, including I'm, Rockstar. I, all right, um, I'll give it a Gorilla. couple more minutes, guys, uh, so before I, I, I mute really, it, because really like see Fable. I love that. There world, has to be like more than this, right? Something so pleasant. At least about I mean, I know it's a, a pre-show, but damn. RPG, like the the humor captured in the original Fable uh, maybe game, I'm being I just love so much, and obviously Peter Molyneux would no longer be attached. So that changes things, but that's what I really, really want. Um, also this is giving really me some good time to uh, finish to my coffee, dog, Halo. I gotta tell you. I'm very curious to see if any of the Perfect Dark rumors hold up because I also love Perfect Dark. Uh, but to get away from games hype, I really want to know more about xCloud. Um, I'm kind of hoping that we hear a little bit about, about well, xCloud and what they're planning to do with that because this is a game, game showcase, which is super exciting. So those are my yep. big three. That's not what I want to no, say. I think this you're show, right. There's such an frankly. interesting story there around what's happening with Xbox Live, with Game Pass, this idea of, you know, having the, you know, a subscription sort of approach, right? Versus buying $60 games time and again, it seems like part of Microsoft's approach is, you know, very Netflix-like and that you're going to sort of get all these games, oh, all this content. God. And that'll mean okay. big um, games, but also- We have 1,500 people here, guys. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button. Sample, Let's see if we can get it to 1,000 likes. Is, you know, I'd really appreciate that see a diversity so much. Content. Um, that you know, there'll be some stuff. <laughs> you're, you, the don't, you're donating gamers, a super chat saying mute. It's a little broader. In its All right, how about too. this? Um, let's talk about this. Halo. Uh, they've done a very um, good job over the past. MBG, week. this I is ridiculous. Mute, mute them. We want to talk uh, to you. Yeah, you know, Master Chief's return. I apologize. Seems like a, I know. A spiritual reboot in a way a of second, Halo. Yeah. I mean, we saw maybe the, I'll just the key drop it box so low. Like very reminiscent of the original Halo Combat Evolved. I'm just gonna mute it. We know because I like. I'm just. I'll keep it up. Wow, Jeff Keeley's face just froze in a really bizarre way right there. I'll keep it up, but um, I'll uh, I'll definitely. Uh, I think this is from a while ago, Scott Huey. I think this chat is like really way back. Yeah, all right, you guys are asking me to mute them, so I'm gonna mute it. I'll just keep it up in the background. Um. I'm just like really nervous that the actual game showcase, like I hope the stream goes smoothly. I really do. Um, uh, Booty2002 saying, what are your thoughts on Exomecha? I mean, it, dude, look, it's fine. It, it's the appropriate, that's the appropriate place to show that game is all I'm going to say. It doesn't look bad or anything. I'm just like, you know. You're asking me to unmute during the reveals. Yeah, if I see like the Xbox exclusive or reveal thing come up again, I'll I'll unmute it so we can see what they're going to show. But I'm not. Exp I mean, he said that they have something kind of big to reveal towards the end. Um, but oh, you guys are asking me to put slow mode on the chat. Okay, uh, give me one second here while I do that because 
I have to bring it up in the settings here. So just give me a second while I do that. I, I think I do need to upgrade my computer again now because clearly the one I got is not good enough. Live chat. We'll do a slow mode. I probably should have done this beforehand. I apologize, guys. And I'll just leave it at that. Okay, it doesn't look like we missed much. So, all right, I put slow mode on. That should help. Uh, let's see, uh, just seems like Microsoft are just, are a bunch of business suits who are completely out of touch with gaming PS5 hype. I can see how some people perceive it that way. Yay, no people talking. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I was expecting something a little bit different with the uh, with the pre-show here. You're asking, what's your favorite Xbox franchise, and why is it Viva Pinata? I don't know if you're asking, why is it not Viva Pinata? Actually, Viva Pinata, I never really played it, but I knew some people who really liked it. So... That's definitely not my favorite. My favorite, to be completely honest, is probably State of Decay. Because there's just so much potential for what they could do in that universe. I know it's like looked at sometimes as just a bunch of zombie games and whatnot. But I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm i a fan of State of Decay. I think that might actually be my favorite franchise. So if we see something State of Decay related, like State of Decay 3... MBG or CPU usage must be high. That's why it's choppy. I, I don't know, man. Like, I'm not a big PC guy. I thought I got a pretty good PC. It says, what, how much is being used right now? 24% CPU usage. Is that a lot? I don't know if it's just measuring it, like, through here, but to me, that doesn't seem like it should be a lot. Maybe that's just me, though. But, um... Brandon's, you're saying it's disgusting that both companies are waiting till the last minute during an economic crisis to release prices. Yeah, but to be, I, I could see how some people are not happy about that at all. The one benefit of it, though, maybe trying to look at the glass half full here, is it does mean it's because one of them is planning to potentially look at that. My, I may have to take the chat down here on screen, but it's it's most likely because one of them is planning to undercut the other, which ultimately could be a good thing for us. So, yeah. Um, I mean, these guys, they still haven't shown another announcement yet. That's almost 1130. RAM is important thing for streaming, or especially for streaming. I think I have 12 gigabytes of RAM. Shouldn't that be enough? Is that not considered enough these days? Should I have more than 12? I probably should. I think I have 12. I, I don't know. When I bought this PC, I was just like looking at reviews and a lot of people were saying like, oh, it's great for content creation and uh, streaming and what. And I'm like, oh, OK, I probably should have looked more into it. But I also didn't break the bank buying it either. Wait, no, I think it has 16 gigabytes. Now I'm thinking about it. 12 or 16. I'm pretty sure it's 16. Or 12. I don't know. Maybe I should upgrade it, though. I don't know, man. Like, most of my other streams are fine. I usually don't have this issue, to be honest. The last time I had this issue, I had something, like, running in the background, like God of War footage, and I didn't realize it. This this time around, I don't have anything running in the background, and I have a wired internet connection, so... You're saying get 32? Yeah, maybe I should. It, it does seem like it starts to slow down with the multitasking, so it, it may be my RAM. Could be that. All right, so it looks here like Jeff Keeley's hyping up something. Um, so we still got about 30 minutes left. Uh, so, okay, I'll turn in the, I'll turn the volume on now because it's a world premiere. Ladies and gentlemen, London is fucked. Wow. Okay. Oh, don't is worry. it? We've got our best man on the case. Because if anyone can fix this mess, it's is this, this smooth Legion? bastard super spy. Oh. Well, 
This is how is this a world premiere? Like we know about this game. It's a state of emergency. Move in and lock down the city. In the chaos, private it's armies really are choppy. the streets. Albion Security's contract has been extended. Yeah, indefinitely. I don't know what's going on, guys. A crooked spy. I'm not interested in, in the this. Shadows. It's basic frankly. tradecraft. Want to sell a lie? Weave it into the truth. And organized crime has grabbed the old city by the bollocks. I'm just gonna have to use the uh, chat on my phone right now. I don't know if that'll help me or not. It's like really choppy. I can see it. You need to build a resistance. Recruit anyone in the whole city, and I really mean anyone. Genius hackers, hard grafters. Idiots. Reinstall Chrome before Every it's too late. People with something to fight for and something unique to offer. I don't know. It, maybe it was my chat. Maybe the chat was just slowing the it down. Right I don't know. For the job. Or the ones you least expect. It should be okay when the show starts, like the real show, because when the real show starts, I'm just going to have it playing full screen and I'm not touching or doing anything else. I'm just watching it. And hopefully yeah. it'll be okay. I'm in. Welcome to the resistance. A lot of you are saying it's choppy on there, and a lot of you have been saying that. It just makes me nervous because it's like I don't want the show to look, I don't want the actual show to look bad. I'm not excited about the, like I'm using this. I'm sorry. Like I'm not trying to be a buzzkill, but I didn't tune into this to see Watchdogs, the next Watchdogs again. Uh, thank you to Ronix, appreciate that, but. I don't know, man, like when Jeff Keighley says he's going to be showing off reveals or world premieres. Like, how is this a world premiere or whatever? Also, that badge, and I don't mean to be negative, I'm just being honest, that badge <clears throat> on the Xbox One cases where it says Xbox Series X Enhanced looks horrible. Absolutely horrible, man. Like, whoever came up with that needs to get, maybe not fired, but repositioned or something because that's not that doesn't look good and i'm not even trying to be mean like i just think it looks obnoxious like that's the best way you could think to let people know it's enhanced for the series x <sighs> yeah I don't, I don't know guys oh it's ninja we got to hear what ninja has to say guys it's what i want out of halo if halo infinite can just give us a incredible campaign to close out the, just the classic series uh, with a, a beautiful ending and a matchmaking slash multiplayer system where the ranking system is unique and it, it it works and just really amazing iconic maps. I feel like a lot of people loved <clears throat> the Halo 1, Halo 2, and Halo 3 maps that came out. They just felt so fun, whether it be super bouncing from Halo 2, nading all the weapons off and learning all that in Halo 1, and just the flow of Halo 3. It was it was just something so incredible. Played all of them. I love them all. And so I don't open it can just get that down, get some of those things down, right? Give us amazing weaponry, right? Weaponry, I don't know right? anything he's like saying. One classic pistol, like, I've never been rifle, in the Halo, Halo so I'm just like... And sniper. I'm, I, I, I think they... It'll be in a really good spot, and I'm just excited to see what they have in store, man. Well, awesome. Well, we'll see it, how much of that comes true. Hopefully, at the top of the hour, Ninja, we'll get a look at Halo. Let us know what he wants. Ninja for joining us on the show. Now it is time to get to another um, world premiere, a net new game that you haven't heard about. And this one comes from my home country, my right. home province of Ontario, Canada. Let's see what uh, this I saw this and, and got excited about. Just a brand new game from a smaller studio that you haven't heard about, but I think looks pretty cool. Ekim, you're saying, well, PS Plus me. and PS Now merge into a service. Also, if all Xbox games can play on PC, what's the demand for a console? I think they could merge. I can't answer that second question, man. There really is no point. All right. Um, PS5 is in a better spot. I agree. Time, ha time hop back on Ghost and The Last of Us 2 L. <laughs> Well, this is a good opportunity for me to check if my stream is maybe smoother now. It looks like it's a little bit smoother. Music's not too bad. Are you guys?
guys digging this right now? Like, should I mute it again? It is loud. It's really loud. I'm muting that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Like, look, I'm just going to be honest with you right now. If you want to watch the pre-show, like, completely uninterrupted, you should probably just go watch it on the Game Awards because I just can't. Um, yeah, I just, I can't. Somebody keeps telling me to check my Twitter mentions. Let me check on my phone here. Um, I don't know if there's something specific I should be looking for, but I'm not seeing anything. I don't see anything on my Twitter mentions, guys. Like, I don't think there's anything. Uh, so Phil Spencer tweeted out. He said, these are fun days, not the same as being at E3 with thousands of gamers, but still excited, nervous, and thankful that I get to work in this industry. Wherever you play, I hope you enjoy seeing the games that studios are hard at working to bring you, to bring to you. Okay. All right. Dude, this pre-show is terrible. I just, I gotta say, this pre-show is absolutely terrible. Like, this isn't even remotely interesting to me. This isn't exciting. This isn't getting me even remotely hyped for this event. I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't hold back anymore. Like, this is absolutely terrible. So, Jeff, Xbox, I sure hope that there is something at the end of this hour-long pre-show that makes me feel as though I didn't just waste my time. Because to be completely honest with you guys... I would have at this point preferred to just let you know that we're just going to talk for an hour straight rather than just sit here and listen to these. And there's nothing against these, you know, the people who are here and talking about it, but like, damn, like th this, it's a hype killer. And I'm not saying I could do a better job at hyping people up because I, I couldn't, but that's not my job. You know, my job is to talk to my audience and I'm just saying like for a pre-show that's supposed to get people hyped, like this is doing a really awful job at it. Um, Metal Jesus Rocks. I feel like I've seen a couple of his videos. But, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Karumi, you're saying, is Halo the only Xbox game Microsoft have? They've been talking about it a lot, Liam. I gotta agree, like, I understand why they're doing it, but still, like, it's just not a great look when, like, everybody's like, please show us stuff that's not Halo, Gears, and Forza, and the number one focus seems to be Halo, However, I don't blame Microsoft. I understand why they're doing that. Imagine if the uh, actual event is a Zoom meeting too. No, there's no way. There's no way. If there's something that Sony proved with their event is that you can have a, a good showcase, a professional looking one as well. So I guess this is just Metal Jesus Rocks kind of showing off some of his favorite consoles from Xbox. But Chris B, you're saying maybe the pre-show is supposed to lower your expectations so they can wow you later, LOL. That's definitely a possibility, but I'm going to go on record and say I don't think that's the case at all. I really don't because, like, it's not making me feel like the show is going to be worse. It's not that. It's just, I don't know. This just seemed maybe like a completely pointless thing to tune into because, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't really follow a lot of these people. Um, and it just, it just seems like, again, Microsoft trying to just bring on, you know, uh, people with names to, I don't know. That's what Microsoft does these days though. You know what I mean? Like they're all about like that artificial hype and, uh, I don't blame them again. Like I understand it's like the purpose of it. I'm not a marketing guy, so I can't tell you what's best and what's not. It's not my job, but I can tell you from the consumer slash gamer perspective that I am not enjoying this pre-show. That's that's all. All right, guys. So we have 1600 people watching. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button to help my stream out. If you want to help it out, that's the easiest way for you to do so. Appreciate you guys being here. So make sure you hit that like button. Uh, the Saunders child, you're saying, please bring back Silent Hill, Sony or Microsoft. It seems like uh, it seems like Sony is keen to make that happen with Konami. I don't know if we're going to learn about it in August. I've been thinking we will hear about Silent Hill in August, but it's hard to say. So I do believe the rumors, though. I do believe it's going to happen. 
Five Star Motel, you're saying just play Ghost of Tsushima more exciting than this pre-show filled with streamers. For real though, man, for real. Like I could be playing Ghost of Tsushima right now. But, you know, I'll just interact with you guys. We still have a good, like, almost 20 minutes left. So that's more than enough time for us to talk. So we'll talk. We'll just watch this in the background. I mean, we have Lamar here kind of clearly really hyping something up very aggressively. It's kind of frightening to watch without sound. But, um, you know, we'll just chat right now. And when the real event starts, obviously, I'll go quiet. You'll probably hear some reactions out of me. Uh, naturally. And then we'll, we'll definitely talk. I think what's going to be interesting is we're going to talk after the show. So yeah. Um, I'm just hoping the stream goes smoothly. Let's see here. But uh, what are you guys thinking? Like, how are you feeling about this pre-show right now? I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys aren't enjoying it either. But. Maybe we could check out what's going on over here. Oh, okay. Maybe this is why it's being slowed down. Because this countdown started a while ago. I mean, maybe it's good that Microsoft is doing this, though, because this means that all the games you're seeing here, nothing against the games that are being shown, but they clearly are smaller games. I mean, they showed off Watch Dogs or yeah, Watch Dogs for some reason. But maybe this is good because it means they're not going to like cram this stuff into the show. Um, that was like, I think, the only thing that some people didn't like about Sony's showcase. Actually, what I want to do with you guys here is let me know how the music on this stream sounds compared to my voice because this is this this is where we're going to be watching the actual showcase. Every trash game they show, I'm donating one to two dollars. Damn, dude, I'm gonna hope for like thousands of trash games, man. If that's the case, but uh, ah, oh, so Jeff's still talking about something. Um. Dude, I'm just going to say I hope that the real Xbox showcase is nothing like this. Like, I don't even care to put on the audio right now because that's... Oh, this is... The, okay, this is that game. No, I don't know what this is. This looks like a few games. I don't know what this is. Um, General, if we all donate $1 for every disappointing game, MBG uh, sees we'll, we'll, he'll be able to upgrade his PC. Yeah, I, I mean... That's the thing, like, I upgraded my PC, I think, at the end of last year, and I thought it was a pretty good upgrade, and I think it is. I mean, it served me well, man. Like, it gets everything done that I need to get done, and my streams overall have been pretty good, so it's just the occasional, like, stuttering, it seems, but I don't know if that's on my end. Tony B, you're saying, hey, MBG, I just got the Platinum for Ghost of Tsushima, such an incredible game. I hope it gets game of the year and I'm expecting a new game plus feature, hopefully in the future. Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I've been taking my good old time with Ghost of Tsushima to be completely honest, mainly because like when I sit down to play a single player game, like I need to be in the right mindset and in the right environment. I need it to be quiet. I need, I need to have gotten everything accomplished that I need to get accomplished for the day. And then I feel like I can relax and just like get lost and immersed in the world. Cause that's how I like, feel like I can take everything in. So I've been taking my time with it. I don't think I'm anywhere near beating it. I've kind of been getting sidetracked in that game as well, but good for you, man. Glad to hear you platinumed it. Um, I'm interested to see what further support it ends up getting. Maybe some standalone DLC, if not some free DLC, like you said, New Game Plus, but glad to hear that, man. Saying <clears throat> it's a red flag that they are using streamers to hype things. They might not have enough firepower. If they did, they wouldn't need a pre-show. Sony didn't. That's a good point, Josh. That's a good point. I mean... I don't want to say it's a neg like a big negative, but yeah, I, I don't like to see the artificial hype, man. I don't like to see like, you know, like if Sony was bringing on people like Ninja and stuff, like I'd just be like, why? Like, come on, like just stop. And Sony isn't doing that. And I just don't know why Microsoft is because it's like, just let, look, I think Jim Ryan put it best. Jim Ryan was the first person you saw uh, after a little intro with the June PlayStation 5 event. And the first thing he said, or the last thing he said, was we're going to let the games do the talking for us. You know, he's just letting you know, like, we're showing you the future, we're showing you next gen, and we're going to let the games do the talking. And that's exactly what they did. 
Maybe they brought like a couple developers on for literally 30 seconds or less just to tell you what you just saw and what the game is and why they're, exci why they're excited for it. And like, that's it, man. Like, that's it, you know? I, I just don't understand the purpose of this. Like, let me put it to you this way. Considering how down and upset people were about Microsoft's May event and their showcase, I feel like this just isn't, wasn't the smartest pre-show move because it's like you're bringing people back to that. You know, you're reminding people of the first show showing you did that was really disappointing. Maybe it just would have been better to not do a pre-show in all honesty. But again, I'm not a marketer. I do not get paid to come up with this stuff or figure this stuff out. I'm just giving you my opinion based off of what I'm seeing from where I'm sitting. So, yeah. But, all right, here's a question I have for you guys. Now, obviously it's gonna be difficult to tell on the stream because I'm streaming at 1080.30. If I go any higher than that, my computer will probably explode uh, or shut down. But we know they're streaming at 1080.60, so I'm assuming they'll let us know what games are gonna be running at 60. Uh, maybe with like a little badge or something. My question for you guys is, like what, is, like, what is your expectation when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the actual like graphical fidelity of these games i mean considering it's been nothing but talk about power and how powerful the xbox series x is like how good are you expecting these games to look because i could tell when watching sony stream even it was though it was still at 1080 30 i could tell like these games look pretty next gen and it looked obviously a thousand times better when you watched it afterwards in 4k but let me know because i'm expecting them to look really good Guilty Smoker, you're saying if Xbox doesn't show up and sh uh, show out, I'm done. I will not buy the console. I need great games to play. Yeah, dude. I think there's a lot of people who had that exact mentality. People are tuning into this because they want to see some awesome games and they want to feel, <clears throat> excuse me, convinced to go buy a new Xbox. Old school game cat because most gamers are children. Mm. Maybe. Are they, though? Or are most Xbox gamers? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just saying if you're gonna, we, I don't wanna see another Xbox One X situation where all Microsoft did was brag and brag and brag about the power and then they're showing off games like Crackdown on it. I'm like, oh my God. Like, meanwhile, Sony with the less powerful console has the better looking games. I'm like, what is going on right now? I don't wanna see that situation. I mean, I, I think Hellblade, I think Halo's gonna look good. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the best looking game, but I know Hellblade is going to look really damn good. So I'm excited to see that. But other than that, I'm not sure. Devin, you're saying Sony had three good games in their show overrated. That's your opinion, man. I mean, look, you know, that's fine. But hey, three good games is three good games, right? It's not like it's no good games, but I would argue that there were certainly some more games that look good at that show. But hey, man, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. Dude, I'm, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I need to get off of this stream. Like this, Chris B, you're saying, do you think they'll update the Xbox UI? Maybe bring back app snapping. I think they'll update it, but I don't know if they're gonna bring app snapping. Like I just don't see them bringing that back. It just seems kind of dumb for them to go out of their way to remove a feature and then add one back that they removed. I just don't see that happening, but Oh, Jesus, it's, it's just like, oh, okay. Only five minutes left guys, dude. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have tuned into this. This literally killed my, it's killing my hype. I shouldn't have tuned into this. I should have honestly just talked to you guys, you guys, PlayStation guys, mostly PlayStation guys. You guys probably would have done a better job getting me hyped for this event than this did. I'm sorry, man. This was not good. Um, maybe it's just me, though. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks that. Maybe there's people who are enjoying it. And I'm not trying to tell everybody it's trash or anything. I'm just giving my opinion. Like, it, this didn't get me hyped. Um, why do I need an Xbox Series X when Game Pass is on xCloud? Well, that's the whole point, man. You don't. Frederick, thank you for that, buddy. 
I'm gonna be real with you guys right now though. Like if, if Microsoft's, if their like actual showcase is good, like I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna call a spade a spade and I'm gonna give it to you straight. I know I'm a PlayStation centric channel. I know a lot of you have been following my journey with Xbox and how I've, you know, I just had some rough times with it, but my expectation for this show is not the one we're watching right now, but the, the real show are pretty high. And if they meet those expectations, I will tell you guys, I will be completely honest. So I'm only saying that because I know that there's people anticipating that they, you know, they expect me to not do that. And they expect me to just like, you know, say negative things, no matter what, that's not going to be the case. But if it is bad, I'll let you know if there's, if it's underwhelming, I will certainly let you know that as well. Lil Highness, you're saying you allowed Devin to have an opinion. Uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion, man. All right, I got my headphones on though. But how is the audio for, I'm, I'm, I'm exiting out of this, forget this. I'm done, I don't even care if there's something big at the end. I really don't even care. So how's the audio on this end here? Is it good? I may have to turn it up a little bit because I know the music. Um, I'm gonna turn it up only because, and I'll mute the music. I think it might be difficult to, all right, so the, the music's gonna be a little bit louder. I will mute, mute that. The music is always louder than the actual show. And so that's why I don't want to assume that the audio is gonna be good right now and then the show starts and I don't want to have to be bringing this screen up during the stream. So hopefully you guys understand that. But uh, 1800 people here, guys, please hit that like button. We are very close to a thousand likes. Let's see how far past a thousand we can get. I know that this isn't the big PlayStation show, but still it's exciting. I'm just going to pretend we didn't even watch that pre-show. I'm just going to pretend we didn't watch it. So yeah, hit that like button and um. Yeah, it's exciting, exciting. I'm hoping this is big. Chris B, you're saying Xbox needs more than three good games since they are so far behind on the game front. I, yeah, that I do agree. Like Sony may, for some people, Sony may be able to get away with that because of the stuff that they've done up until this point, but Microsoft can't. True Witty, you're saying if this show is crap, it will be the, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're trying to say last show for Microsoft. It needs to be good though. Pull up the EXO Mecha trailer that Xbox dropped. Looks interesting to say the least. I'm still hashtag Team Sony. It, yeah, it looked. It, it didn't look bad or anything. I just think that like it's smart that they show that. You know, like that's that's not that wouldn't be considered like a big game, in my opinion. But uh, so we have like about two minutes left here, guys. I, again, I'm hoping that the stream goes smoothly. A lot of people were telling me that. It was on their end, like I'm looking at it right now. You can see it stuttering a little bit, but I can tell you that that stutter is actually coming from the street, like their stream, not mine. So I'll do my best, but. Hmm. How many uh, co co-current viewers did the Xbox game showcase or the PlayStation 5 event have i'm pretty sure it had way more than ninety thousand people watching that's not good i'm just being honest like this I, this sh number should within the next minute or two climb substantially though it has to because the hype for the i mean this is it man for me it is anyway maybe it's delayed on my end but You guys are saying one point, almost 2 million viewers. I know, I don't know if it was that much, but I know it was a lot. All right, let me, uh, all right, guys. Uh, I'm going to hope for the best when it comes to a smooth stream. Honestly, I got to turn the 60 FPS off here. Oh, wait, it doesn't let me. Okay, so whatever. I hope that that doesn't negatively affect the stream. But I'll turn the sound on in just a minute here. And we'll get going, guys. We'll get going. Um, 
here we go, man. I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping Xbox is going to show me some exciting games, some big games. All right, here we go. Exosuit is now complete. Even though this technology will save humanity in the war to come. I must remind myself. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. Titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction. Armor cannot hope. It all means nothing. Until you step inside. Okay, so they're going to show off a demo here. Am I dead already? I, I must be. I mean, this is a punishment, right? Yep, this is death. No! No! No, 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 no! This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, shit. I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh. Please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. Okay, big guy. Guys, I do apologize for the choppy frame rate. There's really nothing I can do about it. Just 
try to imagine it at 60 frames. so I don't really know what to make. It looks okay, I guess. I mean, it looks like Halo. I, I apologize for the frame rate. And I know a lot of people are longer. I can't do anything without it. Um, it doesn't seem like it's on their end, honestly, so if you want to bail out and go watch it somewhere else where it's smoother and then come back afterwards, I totally understand, but... What are you saying? 12 T flops. So this is not better than 10. This is not better than 10. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it in 1080p. It doesn't look bad at all. But it, I, mean, I don't know. I think, it, I think it's just the art style. Really. I mean, I know, like, I'm looking at my stream and it's, it's literally running at like 15 frames. I don't know. I can't. Down 60 FPS to 30 on, on this. I don't know if maybe I should go into detail, maybe I should stop going stream at 80. I could try. Let's try 720. Maybe that helps. You guys are saying. You guys are telling me to use Twitch. It's it's on my end. I don't know what's causing it. <laughs> the UNSC lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated. I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> we are one step ahead, always. The ring 
is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. But here you now stand. This is my last fight. A true test of legends, our story, will outlive us both. Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. So, is the stream a little bit better since I lowered it to 720p? I really hope it is. Again, I do apologize, guys. Like, I didn't want it to be this way, but I can't do anything about it. Saying near 2 million people. We hope you enjoyed your first look at Halo Infinite's PlayStation campaign. show. I'm incredibly proud of this. the team at 343, and we're thrilled to share a hint of the epic battles that await you on the next chapter of Master Chief's journey. This is the most ambitious campaign we've ever created at 343. For the first time, players will have the freedom to explore a mysterious new Halo ring that's several times larger than our last two Halo games combined. Halo Infinite has been built from the ground up right, to take full to advantage that it's a little of Xbox bit Hopefully it stays that way. Bigger battles, epic vistas, more complex visual effects displayed with 10 times the processing power per pixel of Halo 5. This will be running at a flawless 60 frames per second and will allow us to bring the Halo ring to life in ways that have never been possible before. We look forward to sharing even more about Halo Infinite in the Does coming months. Does this look as good as Sony's the first games, look and multiplayer. Just and now, please enjoy a glimpse of what others in the Xbox Game Studios family have been working on. Just an honest question, like, did Halo look anywhere near World as good premiere. as some of Sony's games on the PS5? Doesn't look bad. I'm just saying, like, you want to brag about 60 frames, but I don't know. I have to watch it in 4K. Ooh, okay, is this Hellblade? Okay, maybe not. What is this? Can you guys hear me okay, by the way? Scared me. Are you getting that new Halo Intimate, bro? Infinite? Probably not. I don't know why I want to believe this is like State of Decay or something. I know it's probably not, but I want to believe it is. Dude, if this is the next state of decay, I'm going to lose it. These graphics do look better, for sure. Now I'm hype. Now I'm hype. <laughs> Dude, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Yes, you guys know. Those of you who've been following, you know. This hype is real right now. Welcome everyone to the Xbox Game Hell Show. Hell yes. Yeah. Today, we're showing games from nine of our 15 Xbox Game Studios, including unveils of five new first party games. What you will see today is how Xbox Game Studios are harnessing their passions to bring their dreams to life. We believe that how you find and play your games is as important as the device you play them on. Xbox Game Pass is the best way to discover and play, and we want you to be able to experience as many great games as possible. So Game Pass members, 
you can play every game you see today from your subscription or free to play. These games will look and play best on Xbox Series X, delivering unmatched fidelity, performance, precision, and immersion. Lies. We've designed the most consistently powerful next generation console. And we've built state-of-the-art platform technology to allow every developer to realize their full vision. One studio that has always pushed the limits of our hardware is Turn 10. And they're early in development on the next Forza Motorsport. And early Xbox Series X is bringing them closer to their dream of unprecedented realism with ray tracing and native 4K resolution all at 60 frames per second. Okay. The trailer Shots you're fired. about to see Shots was fired. captured completely <laughs> in engine. You hear that, Sony? Native World 4K 60 FPS. You gotta res- you gotta respond. Dude, guys, I am like, I gotta say though, uh, I apologize if I'm exploding on the mic right now, but that State of Decay reveal, I know it was just a trailer, but that is that is literally what I wanted. I'm dying to see more of that. I gotta tell you, like that's what I was hoping to see, and that's one of the things they opened with, so I'm happy. He said that this is an early development, which is strange to me, because it's like... I don't know, I thought this game would have been out this year, maybe? Maybe next year? Relax, I know GT, I know Gran Turismo 7 is also 4K60. I'm just saying, you can tell the way he's emphasizing native 4K, right? But yeah, this looks pretty good, man. I'm excited for the next Horizon. journey in the symmetry of ritual in the bonds we share and in moments of stillness It teaches us to look beyond the expected. To be a light in dark places. <clears throat> to seek answers. I gotta be honest, guys, this game isn't really speaking to me. And to stand watch over our world. Our style is nice, though. Has a rhythm. We all sense it, but only a few truly feel it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just not really in the rares games. But I can't get over that State of Decay reveal. I'm not going to lie right Everwild now. Everwild will give to you a magical and untamed natural world for you to explore and to just truly lose yourself in. It's a place to be eternal. And eternal has the gift to sense and feel how magic flows through nature and connects every living thing. The team here at Rare are so excited to be working on something like Everwild, and I hope you're excited too. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's shown their support and love. 
and for the incredible, awesome, positive community that's already growing around this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. Love you, Mom. You seeing what I'm seeing? Mom? Allison? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Crest. It doesn't matter. I see that you. They don't believe us. <clears throat> we all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter that they kept us apart. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. Oh. It doesn't matter okay, that Okay, this is that one game that I'm not interested feels in. Feels impossible. We're all done with fairy tales. The only thing that matters is you're my brother. And the only way to move forward Mom. is to keep looking back. Mom. We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. She loved you. She attacked you. We both saw it. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I can't do this. Stop! Well, uh, yeah, not interested in that. Um, so far, State of Decay 3 and maybe Forza are like the only things that really pop to me, so... Hey everyone, my name is Gennady. I'm the co-founder and director of technology at Moon Studios. Today, we're very excited to tell you that we're working on a very, very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, specifically for Xbox Series X. We are now at a time where we can reach uh, levels of fidelity and frame rate this isn't good. absolutely impossible. You shouldn't be talking about this console. right now. An already Just gorgeous being real. game like Ori can now run at 120 hertz refresh rate in full 4K HDR in its highest quality, delivering unprecedented game feel with silky smooth animation, super crisp, sharp image, and low input latency, which is just so important for the tight and precise platforming feel of this game. We can Saying also Halo looks virtually identical to all the other Halos, very disappointed. World. By using premium audio tech, they're hoping they're saving their good stuff for the end. Not simulate in real time. They're finally releasing all the games all they held on to from last gen. Power, we can give our players more options with how they want to play. Like this game. right here is a mistake, we Microsoft. For all of you to experience, you can't be talking about the, Ori coming to Xbox nothing wrong with the game, X with smart delivery but you can't be talking year. about games that already released. You just can't. Not right now. That's fine, but come on. Every single game shown here should be brand new or just something new, you know? <clears throat> no way. The furthest We're talking about the another game that already came out. the biggest mystery in the galaxy. An abandoned research facility and now shady corporate intrigue. Marvel of the Gorgon asteroid. A sordid stopover. Full of salacious secrets and scandalous I'm still being positive, but Greetings. I just don't I think this is a good move you right are here. Looking downright on a global today. With the right kind of case, they wanted us to develop a miracle drug. Can put you on the wrong side of a gun. Or sword. Or this thing. Thrills. Danger. Intrigue. A word of advice before you go, Captain? Trust no one. Wow. 
What will you find on Gorgon? Is this Outer Worlds DLC? Not good. Like, Microsoft, you can't be showing this stuff right now, man. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with it, but not the time. Come on. Oh my god, no. This can't be happening. <laughs> or maybe the it biggest can. Biggest game of the year. Oh, dude, they're making fun of it. That's great. Then wait for Cyberpunk. Oh my god. Okay. All right. But if you're ready that was for good. the smallest, wait for Cyberpunk, guys. We've got you covered. Dude, that's the next meme. Dude, that was pretty funny, I gotta admit. From Obsidian Entertainment, the makers of games that are nothing like this one. <laughs> this summer, strive together to thrive the together. The most diverse lineup of games your in Xbox of history. And go solo. Dude, this is killing the hype. Stop. Stop. Look, see, Sony could get away with showing the smaller titles in between, man. They could get away with it. Microsoft, you can't. You can't, man. Not this game. At Obsidian, we're dedicated to pushing narrative and role-playing games. MBG, it's something we do every day when we come to the right now. <laughs> and we can't wait for you to play our next great adventure, yeah. Paragon right, Gorgon. Let's see, maybe they're going to announce it's something new. the first of two planned new? story expansion packs for the Outer Worlds that we're putting together with our next friends is battle from the Toads. private division. No. Now, it's also important that we no, continue stop. to evolve how we tell stories in games, and Grounded is the perfect example of that. The team has been working for the and last two years And people complained about Sony's indie games. And how to tell an Obsidian yeah. story within a survival well, game. Now, Nothing wrong with indies, that man. Be but able to play the game on July 28th uh, on Xbox Game Preview and on Steam Early Access. We want to hear from you, and we want to continue to build grounded together. Saying, don't be a oh, hypocrite, yeah. MBG. If you've been wondering, Sony showed a lot of. We have been working on that next big Obsidian okay. RPG. Okay, all right, here we go. Check this out. All right, good. Let's see. That's a good segue. World premiere. I'm glad they're showing this. I'm interested. All right, let's see, guys. We have always known war. It forged our empire. Turned heroes into queens and kings. And decimated our foes. Now our oaths are lost, forsaken. And you must face the monsters. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Our sins have borne. Is an oath worth the weight of a crown? What's it called? A bow? Nice. All right. There we go. New IP. Looks AAA. Check that box off. All right. I'll be looking out for that one. But yeah, that little segue there, we're talking about older games. I don't think that was a good idea. Avowed is an expansive first person RPG set it's in the Matt fantasy Booty. world of Eora. When Obsidian Entertainment joined Xbox Game Studios, they told us that this epic game is the one they want to make. As creators of critically acclaimed RPGs, this is Obsidian at their best. And it is being built from the ground up to take full advantage of the power of Xbox it's Series so, X. At Xbox Game Studios, we also work with independent developers, always with the goal of empowering them to bring their ideas to life. I'm excited to announce our work with Interior Night, a new studio led by <clears throat> some of the most talented storytellers in our industry. Line Sing, you're saying so Caroline far, Marshall, I'm not impressed studio with this event. Interior Night look at how gorgeous Ghost of Tsushima game. looks on my PS4. And we also have Lewis, you're saying they're showing gameplay. 
They are showing gameplay Bonjour. though, isn't that what I'm you wanted? I'm Caroline from Interior Nights. Yeah, they showed a Halo Our gameplay, team is really passionate which was fine. About interactive storytelling, because when you play a story, you step into the character's shoes. You get to experience their fears, their hopes, their conflicts firsthand, and in the process, you learn more about. Waiting yourself. for the mic drop moments. And this is quite yeah, powerful. Yeah, I guess so. Our first game spans 30 years in the American Southwest. It's a story about family, resilience, and sacrifice. But most of all, it's about how you will shape the fate of real, flawed people trying to find their way in a world they don't fit in. I hope you enjoyed the trailer. World premiere. All right, Siler, you're saying there's hardly any gameplay. This is awful. I mean, I don't know if I call it awful. It's not awful. Fortune, fortune, I'm just gonna be real, dude. My expectation for this event is significantly higher than Sony's because we all know what Xbox has been like for the past couple years we compared to, to what Sony's been like. Summer. So the expectation is higher, man. For our family, it was just a See, stopover. Ah, uh, you can't be showing. Hmm, I don't know. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, it's an interesting Come graphical on. style, I gotta tell you. But it was the end of the road. It doesn't look like it's showing off the power the of the ground. Series X. Now. The sun went down on all of us that It's a really interesting graphical style, actually. Was it fate? Coincidence? No. Those are kind of interesting. It was a long forgotten secret. Buried in the dark. All my life. I've been scared of the shadows. But now, I'm finally ready to step into the light. I got your letters. Okay, I guess. That's fine. Here at Ninja Theory, we're hard at work on all of our projects including oh, Senua's yes, Saga Hellblade, on, 2, Hellblade 2, which we announced at the Game Awards back in December. An incredible 3.5 million players have now experienced Senua's story in Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. We're excited to start giving you an insight into what comes next for our Celtic Warrior, an experience that we'll be building in Unreal Engine 5 for Xbox Series X and PC. So, I'm happy to reveal today Xbox that Senua's one? Saga will be set in the beautiful country of Iceland. Sick. And you can find out more about our location scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting in a brand new behind the scenes development diary. Thank you, you Mark Davis, for becoming a member. Show I appreciate on that. The Ninja Theory YouTube channel. Yeah, become a member, guys. Join. Join the channel. Become a member. Help me out. No, but seriously, thank you, man. Come on, you gotta give us a new Hellblade trailer. Please. It's been so touching to see the impact that Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice has had on so many players. And we're incredibly thankful to all of the fans that have been part of Senua's story so far. And we're excited for you to be part of our development journey from here on out. Wait, you're not going to show another Hellblade trailer? What? Oh, come on. <laughs> that was one of the biggest things I was looking forward to. Do you want to say hi to Peter? He's on the line What? Here. Peter? Peter, he's been sitting there the whole time? Jack Black. Hey, Yo, it's going to be, song. um... Uh, Peter. What's that oh, game Peter. that Jack Black Fantastic was in? Work. Love the Brutal song. Legend 2. Very much. It's gonna be fun I never played that. It. Now it's time to... Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind pop-ins. <clears throat> Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. Lost alone, neither skin nor bone 
Look, I don't have anything against Just Jack Black, but what is the hell is happening right now? Now my covers <laughs> What is happening? At the bottom of a lake of frozen feeling when my friends pulled me back up I started Uh, thank you, Graham, for becoming a member. Appreciate that so much. Appreciate all my members. Appreciate everybody being here right now. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. Maybe not necessarily if you're into this, but at least help the stream out. <laughs> thank you, guys. Dude, this is not... It's just, it's too, it's going on too long. This is probably going to give me a copyright, too. Which I never, never. Dude, uh, I'm really annoyed right now. I gotta be real with you guys. They're gonna talk about Hellblade 2, and they're not gonna show a Hellblade 2 trailer. They're not gonna show Hellblade 2 gameplay, but they're gonna show me two minutes of this. Oh my god. That is annoying. I gotta tell you. That is irritating. Oh, you're saying Xbox got to stop it with the world premiere we stuff. It's getting annoying. We can't wait to experience the amazing games built by Xbox Game Studios. And there is just so <clears> much <throat> more for you to play on Xbox. We are partnering with thousands of creators, from the largest publishers to the smallest independent developers. They showed to bring two the seconds of State of Decay for this. Ever. It always There's seems like Xbox is trying to be the cool uncle. To us. Not just geographically, These developers were on some serious too. acid. <laughs> I'm thrilled to announce that this fall, our friends at Bungie will bring Destiny 2 to Xbox Series X and Xbox Game Pass. If you are one more of the more than games. 10 million Game Pass yeah, nothing against Destiny, you but also get access my God. to all current Destiny 2 expansions starting this September. Jalil, where's more on Hellblade? Pass what the hell numbers, is this? Destiny 2 will also be playable Dude. on mobile. This is rapidly going downhill. Later this year, rapidly. Bungie will also release a new version of Destiny 2 that is optimized for Xbox Series X. 4K resolution oh, running at 60 dude, frames per second. No. Here's an all new look at Bungie's Destiny 2 You gotta 2 be kidding me. Life. You got, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm seconds away from snapping, dude. I don't mean to be like this, but you're kidding me. You're I've effing kidding me. Things born out in These the are the mic drop moments. Destiny. Every moment brings them closer. Oh, it's time Jesus to step Christ. The light. Dude, you're about to see like an angry MBG rant. I'm saying this because there's like 20 minutes left and they, they need to, this next 20 minutes needs to be good. Really good. I'm sorry, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get to this point, but it was, I, I got State of the K3. I wanted to see Hellblade 2, but right now I'm watching a trailer for Destiny 2, and I don't know why. Yeah, that's true. You're saying I'll give them a pass on Destiny. We did get GTA 5 on PS5. Yeah, but still, like, they, they literally spent, like, 20 seconds talking about GTA 5, just letting you know you're going to get it for free. This and they did it at the beginning, that you not can in the play middle. Any way you want, thanks to Xbox Game Pass. Some of oh, the Jesus, world's most inspired man. developers are working on games for Xbox Series X. The hope for Brutal Legend 2 and Legacy titles are the only reason I'm getting a Series X Xbox with the PS5. Empower both this just annoys me. Experience creators to bring the mm. future of games to life like never before. We got Destiny Unique 2 for free on PlayStation. Unexpected innovations and fresh voices that demand to be heard and that we can't wait for you to discover. 
all of the games you're about to see are being built to launch exclusively on Xbox consoles. Thanks and enjoy. World premiere. Come on, this show has to pick up significantly. Man, they started off hot. Now they're putting in fillers like the Sony show. I think it's a little, it's too much filler. Like this isn't like most of this isn't even new stuff or at least a lot of it isn't new stuff. You could argue at least with Sony show it was new. Is this the medium? boy when Sony announces backwards compatibility in Silent Hill it's over for Xbox well let's not get ahead of ourselves we don't know if those things are coming but still what is this I feel like this is the medium I could be wrong okay maybe this isn't the medium I don't know. I still, I don't know. It looks like it. It looks like the same style. Looks pretty cool though, whatever it is. Okay, I definitely don't think it's the medium. Hmm. Stalker 2. Okay, I don't, I'm not familiar with Stalker, but apparently it's an exclusive. World premiere. Saying PlayStation is starting to look really good. I don't want to diss Xbox, but PlayStation supposedly has another event after this. I highly doubt PlayStation's event will be that big, like as big as the first one. But yeah, I think they're definitely saving stuff. What is this? Is this Scorn? <laughs> that game Scorn or whatever? My Lord Inquisitor, I've reached a term of prime and begun our investigations. Our recon squad has been sent into sub-level six of the hive to determine the full extent of the unrest. I mean, this looks cool, but oh, like, is this what the game's actually going to look like? Back. Huh. They make it back. I mean, that looked kind of cool. I just don't know what it is. Like, is it a first-person game? I'm assuming it's a first-person shooter or something. But again, still, it's not... Oh, my God. World premiere. Guys, what are you thinking of this show so far? Be honest. What are you thinking? I mean, try to keep it clean, but w tell me what you're thinking. Seems like you guys are not happy with this. What is the uh, what is the actual Xbox chat look like on their? Uh, I'm I'm really curious. Like their actual showcase. They have 235 people watching. Mm, people don't seem that happy. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I mean, it kind of does, but we won't know. Dude, I'm... What is this? 
I'm starting to tune out, dude. Okay, Tetris effect. I get. I don't know. I never played it. I, I don't know. It, it... World premiere. Mm -hmm. Console launch exclusive. Approaching orbit. Dude. Scans a no go. Sure you want to drop here? Oh, yeah. I am. Uh... I'm Another good for nothing space rock. Wow. What is this? Like grounded on, on another planet or something? Like look, guys, guys. I was honest when I told you that there were some moments in the Sony show where it felt like there was a little bit of a lull. They were focusing on these smaller, cartoony indie games that I'm just frankly not interested in. I let you guys know that Sony could do that. They had the leeway to do that. What is this show? There is, there have been no mic drop moments, nothing even close. And uh, according to what Aaron Greenberg said, we have about like 15 minutes left of this show. And I am just genuinely baffled. No Hellblade 2. I'm assuming, I can only hope we're going to see Fable by the end of this. But what is this stuff? Who is tuning into this show to watch this stuff right now? I can't believe this. I'm genuinely somehow shocked. I've been listening to these Xbox dudes hype up this show to no end, man. This was the moment. They claimed that they were demanding so much more. They were demanding better. And this show is not looking that good. Not not that good, man, so far. I gotta say, I gotta hold my reservations. It's not over till it's over, but they're losing me. They're losing me. Okay, this is that game, The Medium. This game looked interesting, I gotta say. Crest. <laughs> thank you for that. I see you. Uh, thank you, Arctic Werebear, 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 for becoming a member. Yeah, guys, we have 3,000 people watching. If you could do me a favor, it hit that like button to help the stream out. With a dead girl. Join the channel, become a member, help me out, support me directly. Before Independent content creator, really appreciate it. The moon. Scent of pine. Mark Cerny is laughing his socks off. Oh, jeez. Every story has two sides. A regular, rational one. But also a darker and deeper truth. Not unlike a nightmare. I can see both. Worse. I can live them. A lot of Game Pass filler, you guess? Crest, thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you guys Hello? for uh, showing your support here. Anyone I really appreciate there? that. Guys, I just need to know if I'm off the mark. Ooh, dual reality gameplay. Now that looks interesting. Place? My cat wants to jump on my lap right now. That actually looks pretty cool, I gotta tell you. That's pretty interesting. I guess it's RDNA 1.5 for me. This RDNA 2 stuff is whack. Whack! Chris B says it's whack. Alright, come on boss, you gotta get down. Sorry, buddy. Maybe later. World premiere. That one looks pretty good. Uh, the medium, I think, looks somewhat promising, for sure.
Ryan, this is your king. Yeah, PS5 all the way. Mic drops, none. Huge games, question mark, like three. All the talk and never show up. Hashtag X didn't give it to us. Damn, you're going in hard, Ryan. Dude, all I'm going to say is I'm really glad that I switched to PlayStation when I did. I'm really, really glad. I'll, like, I, we're going to talk more after the show, guys. Don't worry. I'll admit, like, the only thing at this point that could save this show is if at the end, Phil Spencer announces they acquired WB Games. That's about it. Although, I don't know. I'm excited. They have to end it with Fable. I'm excited to see that, but... I'm assuming the Fable trailer is probably not going to be very long. Luis Torres. I've seen your future. This looks kind of neat. Scared of the weapon. You will become... Oh, okay. His remedy. Oh, this is Crossfire X. It still looks kind of cool, though. I mean, I don't know. I never played Crossfire. I don't really know what it is, but... I like remedy. Blacklist. We make our own path. We protect our own. Can you protect me from fate? Seventeen seconds. Xbox Live Gold required. All right, confirmed, guys. Did you read that at the bottom? Microsoft isn't getting rid of Xbox Live multiplayer wall. Hey, wall. Soon, the entire world will burn. All because of him. The ghost is here. Today. You saw 10 world premieres stop. and 22 console stop. launch exclusives. Just stop. Game Pass members can play every stop. game you have seen today from Xbox Game Studios and all of our partners in the subscription or free to play. This is just a peek at some of the new titles coming to Xbox Series X. And some of the games you already love and some you have yet to play will also be optimized for Xbox Series X. Games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears Xbox 5, hire a new marketing team. Thieves. You'll Please. get the next gen upgrades at no additional cost when they launch. You can expect a lineup of over 100 titles for Xbox Series X this holiday season. With Series X and Game Pass, Xbox is the place to play. And you yeah, I bet are at it the is. center of everything. Just we tuning do. in, missed the Halo now, reveal. You I heard it wasn't great looking. We didn't get to visit all of our Xbox if game true, studios today. That means that's why we'll I'm not interested in games being spread across generations. But until then, here's one more thing. E3 2021 will be lit. World premiere. All right, come on. End it strong, Xbox. It's the least you could do. Fable, let it look good. Come on. I like playground games, so come on. Let's do it. You gotta end it strong. I'm gonna be putting the world this up. Is filled with stories right, I'll shut up. Of legendary heroes and treacherous villains. Of fantastical creatures and wondrous places where nature live in perfect harmony.
Not all stories have happy endings. But yours has yet to be written. That's it? No, dude, you're kidding me. I'm done. Optimize for Xbox is a gimmick statement. That's what games are supposed to be. Dude, all right, we gotta talk. We gotta talk. Oh my God. Guys, guys. I don't know. Just give me a second to process everything. First, I'm gonna leave this a dislike. I gotta be real. I gotta leave it a dislike, dude. I gotta leave it a dislike. Corey says, reminder, Phil Spencer feels good. Yeah, I remember, man. Phil said he was left feeling pretty good after Sony's show. Holy hell. Oh my God. All right, guys, give me your rating. 10 out of 10 or out of 10. Was it a 10 out of 10? What did you think? Give me your rating out of 10. Be honest. I don't want to see any ones or twos. Come on, that's a little too low. Where are the mic drops? Where are the mic drops? Yeah. Dude, I don't mean to sound like cocky or anything, but I'm just like, I'm baffled. I'm genuinely baffled. That was it. That was it. Holy. All right. All right. Hold on, guys. We got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. All right. Let me take my headphones off because I'm probably screaming. All right. Um, I got to bring the chat up here. Let me see here. Do pop out chat. All right. We got to talk about this event, guys, because, wow, this is even on slow mode. Wait, this is on slow mode, right? Phil must have confused ball drops with mic drops. Not any good transitions, no gameplay with the most powerful console. Nothing, bro. Disappointed. Yeah, dude. Okay. <laughs> this was a four out of ten. Dude, I think that's a fair. That's fair. Four out of 10 is, is effing fair. Now look, before all you guys, all these guys come to be like, dude, you're going to hate on Xbox no matter what. Did you hear my expectation? Did you watch my expectations video yesterday? Did you tune in to my podcast last week? If you did, you will know that I was nothing but optimistic. And you know what? Here's the thing. I said my expectations are high as I think they should be. I think it's completely fair that the expectations are high. Sony can change whatever they want after that, LOL. Like two minutes of actual games and 55 minutes of Game Pass filler. Dude, oh my God. I'm just, look, I told you guys, like the pressure was on for Microsoft. Like it was on for them. Eddie Who, you're saying optimized Tetris. I really was excited for this show. Shaking my head, optimized Tetris. Thankful for Sony. Oh, God, we have, uh, what the F did I watch? Sony wins without any competition. 12 T-flops, LOL. Four out of 10, four T-flops. Guys, look, I'm not going to sit here. Mr. Hamster saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels like 2019 M MVG is back. PS5 takes the cake easy. Here's the thing. You're saying no release date. No, we didn't get any release date. No, nothing. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. I'll try to look. I'm going to try to get to these uh, super chats when I can. I got to say this real quick, though. OK, I got to say, look, there's going to be people who are going to try to come back and say, well, is this really that much better or that much worse than Microsoft or Sony show? And I'm going to say, yes, it is significantly worse because the amount of expectation in the room for Sony and Microsoft are vastly different. OK, 
Josh, you're saying Xbox is Tim Taylor from Home Improvement, always focused on more power, but constantly hurts himself and messes up. Yes, dude. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Brandon's, you're saying Halo Infinite, Fable 4, Stalker 2, State of Decay 3, Avowed, Outer Worlds DLC, Avowed will be better than Skyrim. Uh, okay, I guess. Um, all youngest are fanboys. All of you guys are fanboys and I don't own an Xbox. Listen, Brandon's, listen. I'm not going to take anything away from Microsoft. I'm not going to take anything away because there was some good stuff that they showed. Where's the gameplay? Where's the power? Look, dude. Okay, Halo Infinite. Again, if you're into Halo, you probably liked what you saw. Fable 4. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They showed a 30-second teaser trailer for a game that we know has been in development for years. Like, that's bullshit, dude. State of Decay 3 was their saving grace, 4 out of 10. Dude, I agree. State of Decay 3 for me was like, okay, they didn't show much. Where was Hellblade 2? Where was it? Um, Morgan, you're saying Miles Morales beat every game they showed. Dude, I want you to, I want you to think about how Microsoft sh closed the show compared to how Sony closed it. Sony knows how it's done. Nobody's expecting a 10 or 15 minute gameplay demo of Horizon Forbidden West that isn't coming out until sometime in 2021. But you know what they are expecting? A trailer that's not 15 to 30 seconds long, just teasing it, not even giving you an idea of what the game is going to be like. Holy hell. Thank you, Hanbella. I Skyler 18, you're saying, told you this was awful, bro. A 12 T-flop console that mostly consists of Pixar games. Ah, uh, Justin, thank you. True witty. Xbox screwed you with no... Uh, I'm not reading that. <laughs> I'm not reading that, man, but... Guilty Smoker, all that power and nothing to show. Come on, I'm so disappointed. Look, again, I don't want to take away anything good that they did show, because, yeah, it was nice to see Obsidian's new IP, and I did say that I needed to see a new IP, and I'm excited for that. I'm glad that they showed that, but then they go from that, like, in between that reveal, they were showing old games, and they're talking about... Ori running at 120 frames per second. Like, frankly, who the hell cares? Who's going to buy a Series X for that, man? Oh, my God. Like, dude, I'm I'm losing it over here. <laughs> Darren, you're saying I'm a PS guy, but wanted the show to be good because it means more competition and Sony has to up their games. Further meaning we all win. This was so bad. State of Decay 3 could just be State of Decay 2.5 for all we know. They showed nothing. That is true. I can only assume by the trailer that they showed they're trying to make it clear it's going to be more AAA, more photorealistic, maybe even have some story elements to it. But out of everything I saw, I got to be honest, State of the K3 is the thing I'm most excited for. I was so utterly disappointed that they did not show even a, a minute long gameplay trailer of Hellblade. Like, I couldn't fathom that. I couldn't believe that. Or just like a cinematic trailer, another one. Uh, Dobux12, thank you, or Dbucks12. Ekum, you're saying, as a Sony fanboy, State of Decay was the only thing that got my interest. Would have liked more Hellblade graphics from Sony look better, in your opinion. Well, that's the thing, man. There has to be a price paid here for Microsoft making all of their games cross-gen. Thank you, KR, for that. Morgan, you're saying, I was waiting for them to show us all that power would produce better-looking games, and I didn't see it yet. Like, dude, that's the thing, man. Um... That's the thing is like, if you listen to these Xbox guys and believe me when I tell you, I've been listening. I have been listening. This is why, this is why I genuinely went into this expecting, okay, Microsoft ain't playing around no more. Turns out they are, they are playing around because like, dude, I'm not saying I'm done, done with Xbox, but I, I, uh, I'm, I'm not excited, dude. State of Decay 3, Hellblade 2 and the Fable game. Obsidian's game I need to see more of because I'm not a big fan of Skyrim, to be completely honest. So if it's a, like exactly like Skyrim, I might not be sold on it, but I'm willing to give it a chance. But Xbox is the hot chick with no personality. I don't know. I don't even know about that. Uh, Michael, you're saying they were trying to brainwash us with influencers. Xbox is done. Yeah, dude, that pre-show as well. Oh, guys, guys, what is going on? True witty. Sony got no competition. I'm sorry. This was bad. 12 TF. Yeah, dude. Thank you, Mo Guns. Jackson. New NES uh, ninja skills. You're saying after that, Sony just raised the price of the PS5. Dude, I was telling you guys, like, I think Microsoft, or not Microsoft, I think Sony might be have, uh, they might be 
holding back some stuff to respond to this because I mean, there's no guys, come on. We got to be real right now. We have to be honest. Did this live up to expectations? I'll tell you right now for a effing fact, it certainly did not surpass anybody's expectations. Absolutely not. Did it live up? I'm asking you guys, did it live up? For those of you who are Xbox dudes, who are looking for a reason to stick around or maybe even be convinced, did it live up to your expectations? M33 are saying Ghost of Tsushima looked better than any game that was at the event. The irony of it all is I'm going to be walking away from this stream and going to play some Ghost of Tsushima on my PS4 Pro, man. The less powerful console. TX Gamer 7 you're saying, as a PS guy, I'll be honest and say that my only takeaway from this presentation is the new game from Remedy, State of Decay 3 and the medium. Halo was below your expectations. It was kind of dry. Yeah, it did look a little dry, honestly. Um... Let me see here before. I don't want to miss anybody's super chats. Thank you so much, Michael, for becoming a member. We have over 4,000 people here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that like button to show your support. If you, I don't know, if you thought it didn't live up to expectations, hit the like button. But make sure you join. Become a member. Uh, really appreciate that direct support. Helps me out. Independent content creator here. He's all the support and help I can get. Thank you guys so much. Angel, you're saying should have saved Hellblade 2 trailer for the Game Awards from the Game Awards for this instead. I could have saved it a bit, to be honest. Um, it could have saved it a bit, to be honest, whereas the Fast and Furious game... Oh, God. I agree with that, buddy. I agree. They should have saved that trailer. Grounded has the had the best trailer, and Avowed was the only game I was decently hyped for. Nothing made me want to buy any version of the Xbox. The only thing about the Obsidian game is, is like they didn't really show too much, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I am glad it was a new IP, and it looks like it is going to be AAA, which is great, but... I don't necessarily know what the game is. Uh, thank you, Flores. Um, Al of Avlavon, you're saying, I was really hoping for a good show. I'm so sad my Xbox friend said apart from State of Decay 3 and Fable 3, I think it's Fable 4, the rest was um, unneeded. Unwanted dog ass. Damn. Um, the Mark Shark is saying, Halo looked tired and generic as ever. Oh my God. Yeah, was I the only one thinking that? I mean, I don't want to speak too much to it because I'm not a Halo fan and I don't want to encroach on territory that I'm not familiar with, but it really didn't. I'll put it to you this way. As somebody who was never interested in Halo, what I saw did not make me suddenly go, wow, I want to play Halo now. It really didn't. Chris B, you're saying it lived up to hashtag wait for next E3. Can't wait for 2021 E3. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, you know what? We do have to remember last year, Phil Spencer said, I'm more excited about the games we didn't show. He literally said that. I made a video bashing him for that because he went on record saying that in an interview and this is like what do you mean you saved a teaser trailer for fable a 30 second teaser that would have been more acceptable last year i'm gonna be real right now that would have been more acceptable last year not this year man um let's see jay somers is saying ghost in the last of us 2 beat anything shown here fail yeah man it, the irony of the fact that we're we're playing ghost of tsushima during all of this um, Nixter the Phoenix are saying didn't even see what the initiative was working on. Microsoft is in trouble. Dude, totally forgot about that. I forgot that they were even a thing. Yeah, how could we not see that yet? Hipster, this was the time. I told you. Halo 76. Oh, Yakarumi, I was waiting for Fable and they just pissed in your cereal. Damn. Damn. Uh, yeah, for Fable fans, genuinely curious. What did you think about that little teaser? Solid Crusader 89, August better be a good month for Xbox and PlayStation fans. It has to be good. God, PlayStation has to jump in and give big news. August 6th, delaying is a bad idea. Yeah, the sooner the better, man. Sony's going to capitalize on this shit. I'm telling you, they're going to capitalize on it. You watch. They're going to they're gonna uppercut Microsoft while they're down, man. I'm telling you, politically incorrect. You're saying only games worth it where Halo Infinite stated the K3 avowed fable PS event was better getting it PS5 day one dude I gotta be real like see the thing is you list these games and it's like oh well that's pretty good right that's it but the problem is like we don't know what state of the K3 is really going to be like we know what Halo is going to be like and I'm just gonna go out on a limb here I'll judge the reaction afterwards I'll have to check to see if I'm right or wrong I'm gonna go out on a limb and say most people were not that impressed with Halo Infinite they're probably like oh it looks great if you're into Halo but I don't know I could be wrong about that State of Decay 3, we don't know much about. Avowed, it's nice to see a new IP. We saw it for like 30 seconds. We don't know what it really is. And Fable is the worst of them all because you got to be kidding me, dude. Like this was talked about for so long. 
you know, and it's been rumored for so long. And they show a 30 second. I don't even know if it was 30 seconds, guys. It seems shorter than that. I uh, just want to make sure I'm not missing anybody's super chats here. This is why I bring the chat up on screen. It's just the easiest way. And also just to see what other people are saying. Michael, you're saying thanks for, for giving me MBG. Seriously, I love how personal and honest you are. It's incredible. I was the guy on Twitter apologizing. Oh, well, dude, no problem, man. Like, that's the thing. Like, at the end of the day, this is about video games. For as much as I rant, for as intense as I may come off, at the end of the day, I'm not losing sleep over this. I'll tell you that. You know, I mean, maybe last night I was just like, oh, man, well, what if Xbox has the best show in the world? What am I going to do? No, I'm just kidding, of course. But it's video games at the end of the day, man. I appreciate every single person who even takes a moment of their time to check my content out, to hang out with me and listen to what I have to say. And so you don't have to thank me for forgiving you, man. If anything, I genuinely appreciate those of you who are like, look, I apologize for being rude or whatever, because you know what? Not enough people in the world are willing to do that. And we need more of that. Not to be cheesy or anything, but we really do need more of that. It goes a long way. Uh, James, you're saying work at Microsoft, play on PlayStation and Xbox. I get Game Pass for free from work. That show was not as good as Sony's. Well, if that's true, James, then wow, that's big coming from somebody who works at Microsoft. <coughs> Excuse me, works at Microsoft. I think I just swallowed a fly. But uh, Darren, you're saying Fable, the medium and Stalker 2 have my interest. Halo gunplay looks dead. Everything else was so much meh. I agree. I, I'm interested in Fable and the medium, but Stalker 2, I'm not so sure. I'm going to have to wait to see about that. Uh, Microsoft went full Ubisoft with those CGI trailers. That's another thing we're not talking about as well as like the, the lack of gameplay. Like, again, even the Fable trailer, that trailer is not comparable to what Sony showed with Horizon Forbidden West. It's just not comparable. You could argue, well, they didn't show uh, Horizon Forbidden West gameplay. Yeah, but you you watch that trailer and you know what this game is. Like You know what to expect. This trailer they showed for Fable was a frog eating or toad or whatever eating a, a, a fairy. Like what? What? Like, what the hell am I supposed to get from that? I mean, I, I don't know. I guess they're just banking on the Fable name. Spud, you're saying, yeah, I already read that one. They went full Ubisoft. Um, Hiso Hisoka, Morrow, you're saying Ratchet and Clank beat everything. Yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that, buddy. Ratchet and Clank was more impressive than I think people realized. Now, especially when you look at this stuff. Um, another thing as well is they didn't show off anything in this event that made it seem like, you know, that made it seem like, hey, this is why you want to buy our console because our console can only offer this or do this. It didn't. It was more about Game Pass than the Series X. Uh, True Whittier saying all I wanted was Fable. Nothing looks better than Spider-Man, Miles Morales or Horizon Forbidden West or Ratchet. So 12 T-Flops wasn't here. Dude, I got to agree, man. Like this show did not do a good job in my opinion showing off the power of this console it just didn't i mean they brought you know you heard phil spencer say native 4k 60 frames per second for um forza but i'm pretty sure we're gonna get that on gran turismo 7 on the less powerful console right looks like my decision is made ps5 is my choice good decision that's what i'm going with Emron Khan, you're saying despite The Last of Us 2 getting some criticism on its story, it still trashes or thrashes anything Xbox can produce at the moment. Dude, 100% agree, man. Like, I, I, you know, I'm somebody who didn't like the story of The Last of Us 2. I'm not getting into that here. But you know I gave credit where credit is due. It's a beautiful looking game. Facial animations, what they're doing in that game visually is on another level. And it already kind of looks something like that's close to next gen. And a lot of the games we saw here looked comparable to an extent, maybe some games not even anywhere near comparable to what we're already seeing from Sony's first party studios. This blows my mind, dude. How could they not show the initiative's new game? How could they not show it? This was the time, Microsoft. It's supposed to be the, the studio that's going to compete with Sony uh, Santa Monica and God of War, right? I'm not seeing it. Politically incorrect, you're saying, yeah, Halo was kind of meh. It's another Halo game. State of the K3 was cool looking for a cinematic uh, the Wendigo was cool looking. Sony absolutely destroyed this event. Yeah, dude. The fact that Sony still has more. I'm sure Microsoft has some more, but Jesus, God, like you did not do a good job here, Microsoft. Come on, you could have done. It's not so much that they didn't do a good job. It's the fact that you know they could have done so much better. We're hearing rumors of mic drop moments. Phil Spencer, Phil Spencer left and said he was left feeling good after Sony's event. I'm not going to lie, man. When I said that, I was like, oh, man, OK, maybe he ain't playing this time. Once again, Phil the Hype Man fails to deliver. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Brandon, 
You're saying, bro, I'm done with Xbox, a huge Xbox fanboy. I bought a PS4 in 2018 and I never, I never thought I would do it. Just bought um, Ghost of Tsushima and it's amazing. Hashtag I'm done for good. Damn. Damn, you sound mad, dude. And I feel you. I feel you. Louis, Luis, you're saying, I think it's Louis or Luis. You're saying, is that it? LOL. Yeah, I guess it is. Thanks for the 4,000 people watching. Hit the like button. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. We have 4,000 people here hanging out, listening to me rant. Uh, I, I really do appreciate that, guys. If you could hit that like button to help the stream out, uh, really, really appreciate that. I do appreciate your support. We have uh, Zach, you're saying, been super excited for Fable, and now this, dot, dot, dot. I would have at least appreciated the release year. I was super hyped when I seen the town, but nothing. Yeah, dude, like, this is where they're out of touch. They are out of touch. They really are. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. Um, And we got Bidota. Hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. You're saying Bidota. Uh, no, oh, Elden Ring, unfortunately. Yeah, dude, that's another thing. The th there were like no big third party games here, at least none that really struck me. I think it, you know, even seeing it's at a point where even seeing a game like Elden Ring would have been a big deal, but we didn't. So um, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Uh, so we have a new member. Thank you so much, Shane. Again, guys, anybody who wants to become a member and support me directly. Again, I'm an independent content creator here. We talk a lot about PlayStation. You get some pretty cool perks, in my opinion, for becoming a member. Uh, so if you want to support me directly, feel free to do that. Thank you so much for that, buddy. Uh, for Shane, thank you. And thank you to all the other members. We have Noodle. You're saying end of the Fable trailer says it's coming to PC. Of course it is. It's coming from Microsoft's first party studio. So everything they release is going to PC uh, because we all know that that cannot in any way, shape or form hold back game development, right? Um, dude, can we talk for a second about how that's the big argument from the Xbox fanboys? Well, the only games that are going to fully take advantage of the PS5's SSD is the exclusive games. Like, okay, like, is that not a big effing deal considering how talented Sony Studios are? Oh, Yakarumi, you're saying this proves it. Xbox is the spill and Sony is the janitor. Like I said, yeah, it's hard to argue, man. It's hard to argue that. Uh, go, go, gadget, Gabe, you're saying, oh, sorry, this... I got to find a, uh, so I, I'm losing, I'm losing track guys. I'm losing track it, track it. I'm making words up. I just want to make sure I don't miss anybody because I appreciate all of the super chats and the least I could do is read them here. Go, go gadget. Gabe, you're saying very average showing fable, the medium and Everwild have my attention, but that's it. They kind of blew it. See, that's the thing, man. It's like, it's not like everything they showed was bad or terrible. It's just the expectation was so much higher because of how lackluster Xbox has consistently been for the past like four years now, right? Vital FX, you're saying, I came into this event knowing I'd purchased the PS5, but wanted a better showing from Microsoft's. Phil's comments are just redundant, meh at best. Kieran Thompson, you're saying, people on Twitter are screaming, Fable, it looks so good, even though no gameplay was shown. Look, I mean, nobody's saying it doesn't look good, but it's just... What are you supposed to take away from it? Like, that's what I don't understand, right? Um, Moby, you're saying nothing dropped my jaw. Very disappointed in Halo cartoony graphics and everything. I expected more. 12 T-flops, PS5, I'm all in even more now. Dude, that's the thing. You talk about a jaw-dropping moment. For me, there were two jaw-dropping moments in that Sony show. One was with Ratchet and Clank. Well, first of all, they opened with Spider-Man, which was unexpected. But jaw-dropping when it comes to being impressed... Ratchet and Clank seeing that teleportation instantly, I immediately knew that's the SSD right there. You won't see that on any other platform. It's impossible. But at the end, when they showed Horizon Forbidden West, I literally couldn't believe how good those graphics look. I couldn't believe it. I didn't see that here today from the world's most powerful console. Zach, you're saying the media on a technical level seems pretty nice. Uh, five out of 10, though. Yeah. Ryan, you're saying the show was barely different than Inside Xbox. Oh, geez. That's sad. That's sad. Like to think this is comparable to their inside Xbox is not good. Shane, you're saying, uh, how do I recover from this? What if Sony announces SOCOM or a resistance reboot? What will Microsoft do? Well, that's the thing, man. Like we don't know what else Sony has saved. I was joking around saying that Sony's saving their God of War 5, uh, you know, PS5 sequel trailer, but now there's no reason for them to show it. They don't have to. They can continue to save that for a moment when they feel it's better or, you know, more needed. Um, scroll up here. Um, oh, God, I'm really starting to lose track. I got to speed up here. Baz, you're saying pop in during Halo gameplay, pop in in shading and distance details. Seriously, 
shows what the cross gen one year is going to do to limit next gen. Uh, James, you're saying as an engineer, it feels like Sony and Nintendo have consistently proven that power isn't that important. Content matters more. I 100% agree. Desmond, you're saying they didn't even release a price, honestly. If they released a good price, it could have at least hyped it a little bit, but instead it was nothing. I agree with that point, buddy. You're saying, Adri or Adrian, you're saying, hey, MBG, I'm out in the field doing home health physical therapy. Just wanted to say hi. Wow, Microsoft seriously seems like they can't get it together. Well, thank you so much for stopping in, Adrian. I do appreciate that. And Microsoft, they need to get it together, man. They really do. Like, it wasn't all terrible, but this is not what people, people wanted more, and that's okay. Xbox needs to stop depending on Halo to save them. Uh, good old Uncle Phil thought he had Sony with this event. I'm looking forward to the PS5 exclusive Stray, more than Halo Infinite and most games in this event. Floris, you're saying 2017 slash 2018 PS4 games look better. Horizon, God of War, damn. You're, you're saying games from Sony from years ago at this point looked better than what we saw. Zach, you're saying, by the way, MBG, I love you, man. I watch all your videos and will, of course, be with you all the way through this year. Super excited for the PS5. Keep it up, bro. Thank you so much for that, Zach. I really do appreciate all the support you guys are showing here. Really means a lot to me. Joe, you're saying Sony exclusives are better in my opinion so far. Dude, I got to say, like, I'm more excited. I was always more excited for Sony's show because you know the talent they have. They proved it. And then when you see the games, you're like, yeah, this looks great. This looks great. You know, and then when you see Microsoft, you're like, OK, not only do they need to show a lot more, but it needs to look like it can compete. Right. And I'm not saying everything they showed here doesn't look like it can compete because it looks like there is some stuff that can. But can it really like did we see anything here that really is like comparable to God of War right from 2018? I'm talking about a game from 2018 people. Did we see anything that's comparable to The Last of Us Part Two and Ghost of Tsushima? I didn't see it. So if we're talking about next gen games, did we see anything that looks comparable? Like, dude, these Xbox dudes are making fun of Spider-Man Miles Morales. I'm like, please, you can't make fun of shit. You can't make fun of shit. You really can. So, oh my God. Uh, Lewis, you're saying Fable means a lot to many people. And at this point, they're happy it's even being announced. Yeah, I totally understand that, man. I'm not trying to get too much on, on Fable. I'm just saying, like, as somebody who isn't really a big Fable fan. I've never really played it, but I'm very much looking forward to seeing what this new one's going to be like. I, you know, considering it's been rumored for years, it's been like two years plus at this point, I was hoping we would see at least a minute long trailer just showing more of the game, honestly. Like, but I get it. I'm not saying people shouldn't be hyped for Fable. Again, I don't want people to walk away from this assuming that I'm trying to take everything away from Microsoft. I'm not. I'm not saying the show was complete and utter trash, one out of 10, nothing like that. But I'm just saying, like, look, it wasn't what it needed to be. That's what I'm trying to say. It wasn't anywhere close to being what it needed to be. Um, okay, I'm really falling behind here. So we have... Edgy, Clem, edgy Clemmy, you're saying, I feel this event is another LMBG, not a single next-gen fidelity example. Nothing is next-gen as Ratchet Horizon 2. Halo Infinite looks cross-gen. Mr. Hamster said to me that it doesn't look good. I mean, I can't argue with that, man. I really can't. Juan, you're saying Emperor Palpatine is disappointed. Limited power. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, dude. Thank you for that, Jason. We have Daniel, you're saying 12 p.m., uh, yeah, shortly after equal <laughs> equals micro soft. I guess so, dude. Invader brain. Wow, this showcase was horrible. Microsoft should just be the next Sega. That's the thing that I think is most disappointing as I genuinely do not feel like calming down. I genuinely do not feel that Microsoft proved that they can compete at the same level with Sony. I just don't think they could. Um, the Valks, you're saying graphically nothing looked better than Kenna. Yeah, dude, kind of looked pretty good, too. Uh, and that that's not even, like, the most graphically impressive game. Etman, you're saying Halo in 4K VOD looks way better. Yeah, I'll have to check it out in 4K. That's the thing I have to, we have to understand. Like, some of these games might look a lot better than the way we're judging them now. Uh, I can admit my stream was not the best way to view it, but I'll go back and I'll watch. Toronto, you're saying I'm a PlayStation fan, and I so much wanted this show to be amazing and make me want to purchase an Xbox the show actually managed to piss me off. I could only imagine what Xbox guys are feeling. Dude, you already know what the Xbox guys are going to do. You already, oh my God, this show was amazing. It was the best show ever. And it's just like, these are the same dudes who are like, we demanded better and we got better. 
look, we're getting better. This is what Sony fans should do. They should be demanding better. And it's like, what the F are you smoking, dude? Like, Sony fans have been doing some of the best gaming experiences in the world for the in the history of gaming for the past, like, how many years now? And you're saying we need to demand better? Don't get me wrong. When it comes to these corporations, always demand better. But don't come over here with that shit, okay? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell Xbox guys right now, demand better than what you just saw because it's not good enough. It's just not, okay? The reason why I'm not sitting back saying, oh, my God. Sony didn't show nearly enough at their show. It's because I already know they got a lot of shit that they still have yet to show that they're working on. And they're going to show it. And they're going to show it when it's ready, right? And it's going to be good. But, oh my God, man. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Uh, Jeff, you're saying Sony have won, in your opinion, better games shown on their event. Where was the mic dropping moments? Xbox really blew it this time. Not good enough. Yeah, dude. You could argue, well, everybody's expectations were too high. Dude, did you listen to the Xbox guys? They were all telling you, do not temper your expectations. Be hyped. Be hyped. And I listened. I listened. I was like, you know what? They're right. Let's be hyped. This is going to be a big show. (laughs) Oh, it's sad. Alessandro, if I'm saying your name right, you're saying Xbox is 20% faster and better graphics. PS5 is slow. In case you guys can't tell, the caffeine kicked in, guys. I chugged that coffee at the end there because I'm like, it's time to go. Time to go. Solid Crusader 89. You're saying we still haven't seen anything from Rocksteady. Xbox could have given us an estimated pricing. Where was Xbox Lockhart, the smaller version of the Series X? Yeah, they made it clear they weren't going to be talking about that stuff here. They should have, though. Maybe it really would have helped them. Honestly, I, I feel like it could have really helped them. Um, Your boy Snag, you're saying I'm a PS fan, but I was expecting more from Microsoft. Yeah, I agree, dude. I agree. Like, it should have been better than this. Um, before I lose track once again, Joe, you're saying, I feel Xbox can't even compete with Nintendo now. Damn. Damn. Yeah. I don't know, man. Nintendo, they're, they're doing their own thing. They're carving out their own, uh, piece of the pie. No problem. Spud, you're saying, when was the last time Microsoft, Microsoft announced a new IP that was triple a quality? Honestly, I can't remember anymore. I want to assume, I want to assume that the obsidian game we saw was triple a quality. It didn't scream triple a, Like, it it still could be smaller than we think, but it looked pretty good. We don't know if Hellblade 2 is AAA. We know it's not a new IP, but I'm assuming it's AAA, but I don't know, man. I don't like to say that, oh, if it's not AAA, it's not good, but there's no doubt that when it comes to the AAA gaming space, Microsoft should be competing at a higher level, and hopefully they will. I can't even say that anymore. I can't even say that anymore, because, like, this was the time, man. Um, Ali, you're saying now we know anything Phil Spencer says from now on is just talk. Dude, I'm done. At this point, I'm just going to, I'm going to just, and I'm not going to try to be toxic about it, but I am never going to believe anything Phil Spencer says anymore. And I'm going to be even more critical about the shit he says, because dude, I believed you, Phil. I believed you. You lost me in 2018 and 2019. Okay, and I gave you another chance and I believed you. I thought this was it. I thought this was the moment where you're not playing games anymore. It's not just about the game pass. It's not just I mean, dude, they were showing old games. They were talking about Ori running at 120 FPS. They had Jack Black sing a song for two minutes straight. And then they talked about Destiny 2. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? That game, uh, Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks was better than that. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. So uh, we have Joystick Guru saying, so they dropped the ball again. Yes, they did, buddy. They did drop the ball again. We have Lewis. You're saying, I wonder if after this show, Sony will have the conference to reveal the price. Yeah, dude, you know that's coming next. And I'm telling you, if Sony announces the PS5 anything less than 500, it's, it's over. The Series X will not stand a chance even the Series S. It's just not. It's just not. It's already not holding... Uh, it's already not doing a good job keeping pace with Sony, obviously, but I'm telling you, if the PS5 comes into anything, even the digital edition, anything less than four, 500, Microsoft is in... They're in trouble when it comes to console hardware sales anyway, but they don't care about console hardware sales. Sergeant Salty Nuts, you're saying missed it, but was it better than Sony's event? I'll let my chat answer that for you guys. Was this better than Sony's event? Let's be honest. Was it comparable? Was it comparable to Sony's event? I think in a lot of ways, 
And I'm going to be real right now. In a lot of ways, it was, but in some ways, it was so not comparable that it worked so much against them. Like, Sony just knows what they're doing, man. I can't, dude, I can't. I simply can't do it. I, I can't continue. I can not continue to sit here when these moments come and be like, all right, guys, all right, maybe this is it. This is going to be it. This is the moment. Microsoft's going to finally deliver the way that they should have. Years ago, they've been saving it. And it's just the same thing, dude. I can't, again, I can't sit here and say, look, if it wasn't, in my opinion, for State of Decay 3, Obsidian's new game, maybe the medium, but still, the medium looks like a smaller game to me as well. It's not exactly the game I'm going to go out there and run out and buy a Series X for. And if it wasn't for that Fable tease, but even again, that Fable tease, guys, I can't get fully on board with that. Like, I understand that people want to be excited and they want to be pumped and they're like, Fable's back. It's like, I get it. I get it. But like, they didn't show you anything. They just put up a splash screen, basically, of Fable. And it's like, this would have been much more impactful if maybe we didn't know for the past two to two and a half years that this was a thing that was in development, right? All right, guys, how would you rate the Xbox Game Showcase? Jeff Keeley is asking. Uh, he's putting it up for 24 hours. There's already about 30,000 votes. A, B, C, or D or below? Let me know, chat. What should we vote for? Now, I'm going to choose myself here, but I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Should we vote A, B, C, D, or below? Or what would you vote? Everybody say, I, most of you are saying C. I see a couple Ds. F, <laughs> C minus. Um... I'm going to be honest, guys. Like, for me, this is a C. It's honestly a C. I'm not going to say D or below. It would be a D or below if they didn't show State of Decay 3. If they didn't show any gameplay, they did show Halo gameplay, which was nice, but still would have been nice to see more. Um, I can't give it an A or a B. I just can't. Because an A or a B, like a B for me would be, okay, like, this definitely met my expectations, and I'm feeling more excited about Xbox. It met my expectations. It didn't do that. It didn't meet my expectations. It feels like it's a C. Like, a C for me is like, it was all right. It was not the worst thing ever, and it certainly could have been worse, but it was far from meeting my expectations, let alone getting anywhere to surpass them. Obviously, an A would be it surpassed my expectations, right? Uh, Matt, you're saying Fable, Forza, Halo, Hellblade, Avowed, State of the K3 Medium. What did you want the initiative? What did you want the initiative to reveal two years early? Then they are in trouble showing the same games next year. It was a C plus. I can agree with the C plus. Look, dude, I'm not sitting here saying it was an F or a failure. I'm just saying to me, they like I said it. They had to show everything. So what if we see the same games next year? Show gameplay then. But this was their time, dude. This was their time. They had to show everything, the whole package, man, and they didn't. Instead, they spent time talking about older games and how they're going to run, how Ori's going to run at 120 frames per second. Like, dude, I would have rather seen Bug Snacks. At least Bug Snacks is a new damn game. Seriously. <laughs> Billy Too Smooth, you're saying, just joined, haven't watched. Did they deliver the show? Better graphics from the console? Did they beat the Sony event? Did Halo kill the PS5? Well... For those of you who are just joining and asking that question, I will let my chat answer it for you, okay? I'm not going to tell you. I'll let the chat answer it for you, buddy. Uh, your boy Snag, you're saying Sony might end Microsoft with the August event. Dude, I hope for Microsoft's sake, Sony really wasn't saving anything too big because, the dude, this I'm going to be real right now. Regardless of what I think about Microsoft Showcase, this did not do anything to deter Sony's momentum. It just didn't, okay? Regardless of whether you love the event or you hated it, I can tell you definitively this maybe bumped up the hype for some people for Xbox by like 5%, maybe 15% if you're a really big Xbox fan. But this did in no way, shape, or form stop Sony. It didn't take away from their momentum. And it, it just, I don't know. Maybe I'm out of touch. But I just... So let's go over the results here for... 
Uh, Jeff Keeley, well, let me get to these super chats first. Orlando, you're saying I'm a huge Sony fan, and while it didn't have any mic drop moments, I do think they're improving on the exclusive front. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, look, I do want to be a little bit optimistic here and positive. I don't want to just completely bash them. Like, they're trying. Like, you can tell there was some stuff they were showing where it's like, you they're trying, but they're still not hitting the mark, man, in my opinion. They're still not. Like, I just, genuinely speaking, if I never went to PlayStation and this was, like, something I've been waiting for for, like, years... I would be kind of devastated right now. Like, w wait, what? <laughs> like, that's literally what I'd be like. And I'm so glad that I'm not in that boat anymore. Uh, Secret Avenger, you're saying good thing Sony doubled production of the PS5. They should double it again. <laughs> yeah, maybe, dude, maybe. Um, Mr. Ekam, you're saying Hellblade gameplay and more revealing Fable cinematic could have raised the score to a B. Microsoft needs to give gamers more of a reason to buy the console. Yeah, I agree, dude. If they showed more Hellblade 2 or like a gameplay trailer and they showed a little bit more Fable, it would have been a B for me because I'd be like, okay, like I was really upset that they didn't show Hellblade 2. Like what the F are you, are you doing, man? Like this is Hellblade 2. It's one of the biggest games you guys have. Like show it. Um, We have uh, Jose, you're saying, hey man, I'll be honest. I'll take Ori any day over Bug Snacks. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to compare the games. I'm just simply saying that, like, for as much crap as Bug Snacks got, at least it's a new game. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I'm trying to say. But uh, I don't know, man. So far, Jeff Keighley has 31,000 votes. 20% gave it an A. 30% gave it a B. 28% gave it a C. And 22% gave it a D or below. So it's pretty divisive. It's pretty evenly split here. I have to say, I'm surprised at the amount of people who are giving it a B. I had to, because I'm just like, look, it wasn't terrible, but maybe I'm going to be real with you guys right now, okay? I, all I did, all I did was I listened to the Xbox fanboys. I listened to them for the first time. I was like, you know what? Fine, guys. Fine. I'm going to listen. You guys are telling me, do not temper my expectations. Expect everything. Expect the best show ever. Expect them to meet or surpass your expectations. Mic drop moments. I listened. I believed it. I listened to Phil. I took Phil seriously when he said, I'm feeling pretty good after seeing Sony's show. I listened. And I was burned again. And so you can't blame me. You can't blame me saying, well, your expectations were too high. No, they weren't. They really weren't. I'm not sitting here saying this was a 1, 2, 3 out of 10. Maybe it's a 4 out of 10, maybe a 5, maybe a 6, maybe a 7 for some people. But if you want to sit here and compare the two events, I'm ju just from an objective standpoint, in my opinion, objectively speaking, and I'm not trying to speak for everybody, but the market will speak for itself. The numbers will speak for the market. Okay? Objectively speaking, the hype was real for Sony's show, and they delivered. I remember Jeff Keighley doing a similar post here for Sony's show asking great at A, B, C, or D, and I'm pretty sure the majority of people said A. And it's because the games they showed, granted they did have a lull period, they did show a lot of indie, smaller games, some stuff that really made you kind of go, wait, uh, what am I looking at right now? But for the stuff that they did show, it had the impact it was supposed to have. I think that's the big problem with this Xbox show. It just didn't have the impact it was supposed to have. This was the comeback moment. Microsoft will not get another opportunity like the one they just had if for a very, very long time, if ever. And they, I don't want to say they blew it, but it did not have the impact it was supposed to have. Dan, you're saying Microsoft's proposition, give us hundreds of bucks to play games you can play on what you already have. Tempting. Yeah, dude, I can't deny that. Like, it's not a good proposition. It's not a good value. I mean... It depends on how you see value. You know, Jim Ryan and Sony, they made it clear that their value proposition, that's what it's all about the value, man. Like they're trying to give you the best value proposition they can when you go to buy the PS5. Sony's value proposition is much, much stronger than Microsoft's. It just simply is. Microsoft's trying to give you the best deal, but the two things contradict one another. Game Pass, Game Pass, Game Pass, free to play, cheap, $500 console. 
they just don't they don't work together. They just don't. Um, Beastly uh, Ked, th- thank you so much for becoming a member, buddy. I really appreciate that. Again, anybody who wants to become a member, hit that join button. You get some exclusive perks and you get to support me directly. It really, really helps me more than you know. And as an independent content creator who does my best to try to bring you as much content as I can and the best content that I can really goes a long way. So thank you so much, Beastly, for becoming a member. Thank you to all my members. Ali, once again, you're saying, like, does Microsoft not listen to their fans at all? That show is bad. Where was the gameplay? I only saw Halo, and that's it. Yeah, that's another That's another thing we have to knock them for, man, is they didn't really show much gameplay. They did. It seems like all of the gameplay, they could have, in my opinion, Microsoft would have benefited greatly from taking a page out of Sony's book here, where if you go back and watch that PlayStation 5 event, you'll know that, yeah, not the whole show was not just gameplay. But they showed like minute to two minute long segments of gameplay with some of the games they showed off. So rather than spending 10 to 12 to 15 minutes on a single game, which they could have done that if they wanted to, they said, let's show a little bit of gameplay of Ratchet and Clank. Let's show a little bit of gameplay of Forza, uh, not Forza, Gran Turismo, right? And I'm sure there was snippets of other gameplay as well. But I think if they wanted to, they could have showed 15 minutes straight of gameplay of Ratchet and Clank or Horizon or something like that, but they just, you know, they sprinkled it in here and there. So it's like, you can't say that they didn't show any gameplay, but they did it in a more, in a way that lends itself better to the pacing of a show. You know what I'm saying? So that's my opinion anyway. I think Microsoft would have been better if they did that here, show a little bit of gameplay of Halo, show a little gameplay of Forza, show a little gameplay, if you could have stated the K3 or Hellblade 2, show a little bit of Fable, show something more of Fable, show it of, you know, Obsidian's game. I mean, Obsidian, like, I don't know if you count this as gameplay, like, you saw the first person perspective from Obsidian's new IP, but is that gameplay? Do we consider that gameplay? I don't think so, because I still didn't understand, you know, what the game's going to be about exactly. What's it going to play like? You know what I mean? Like, what's the raw gameplay going to be like? Uh, Starscream. 3117, the entire event was focused on Game Pass, and this is quality of games you get with it. What game shown today has the same quality as what Sony showed? I don't know, man. Maybe Forza, I guess. Again, can we acknowledge the fact that this show opened up once again with Halo and Forza? I'm sorry, but unacceptable, dude. I mean, Halo, I can understand, but to follow it with Forza, guys, this is where I believe Microsoft really has to be out of touch, man. We're like... This is what you, like, the meme. He Phil Spencer said it's a meme, right? Like, it's not a meme, dude. You can't call it a meme when you're the one making it a goddamn meme. You say that shit, and then you open your show with Halo and Forza. Come on. This is what I'm talking about, dude. Marcos, you're saying another channel that was streaming the showcase was so pissed he started playing Ghost of Tsushima on his stream when it ended. He was done, lol. I mean, I'm not at that point. I will be playing Ghost of Tsushima later today for sure if I get the opportunity to do so. But damn, that guy must have been pissed. That reminds me of the dude who took out the Last of Us 2 disc and literally cut it with scissors on stream. Uh, Is it that serious? I don't know about that, man. But I got to tell you guys, like, I just, I, look, I don't know how many likes or dislikes I'm going to get on this video. Um, or the stream, I should say. I don't know how much more I'm going to be talking about Xbox after this. Obviously, we're going to talk more about it on the podcast this Sunday. We have to. But I I just, I'm not, I don't want to say, I was kind of getting frustrated with the show, dude. Because, like, it's not that hard, Microsoft. Just look at what Sony is doing and do it better. Okay? And I mean, from a talent perspective, Maybe it is that hard, but I, oh God, I'm just trying to say that like Microsoft, in my opinion, would have been better served looking at what Sony did saying, okay, they showed a little bit of gameplay. We're going to show more gameplay. They took like a good, good portion of their show to show smaller indie titles that maybe not everybody's going to be a big fan of. Let's not do that. Instead, let's just make it, bam, big game, big game, big game, exciting game, exciting game, big game, nonstop. Hell, cut your show down to 40 minutes, 35 minutes, but if it's just big game after big game after big game, then yet that's how you start your comeback, because you need that. Everybody knows you're going to have the smaller games. Nobody's trembling in fear, like, oh my god, what if they don't show 
uh, you know, Ori running at 120 frames per second? What if they don't show Destiny 2? What if they don't talk about Game Pass? Like, nobody's saying that. Nobody's saying that. Microsoft, that's all you had to do, man. Not hard. Not hard. Not hard at all, in my opinion. It's just not. It's just not. Save the smaller stuff. Save the last-gen stuff for another time. Um, Orlando, you're saying it was kind of disappointing with Phil saying he feels pretty good about their showcase after seeing Sony showcase. Yeah, I don't. What is up with that, dude? What is up with that? It's that's Phil Spencer being cocky, in my opinion. Confident, but also cocky. And I'm just like, come on. Um, let me see here. Al, Al, Al huh, I can't say your name, dude. Crane. I'm just gonna call you Crane. A Crane. All right, MBG. I'm gonna sleep. It's almost 4 a.m. I just want to hear. Uh, I just want to hear to butcher my name on this. Yeah, because it's hilarious. I apologize, buddy. I'll just call you Crane. Well, good night, Crane. Sleep good. You know, after that, you try not to have any nightmares. Uh, your boy Snag, you're saying Phil Spencer is like Ronnie 2K. If you know, you know. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm off the mark here. I'm going to have to look at social media. I can only, all I can do is give you my honest reaction, my honest opinion. And my honest reaction was, as you could tell, watching the stream, there was just moments where I'm like, this isn't it. This isn't it. There were moments during the Sony stream where I was tuning out a little bit. I'm like, all right, they're losing me a little bit, but they came back and they came back in a big way. Um, and when it comes to this show, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just because I'm more excited for Sony's games. Maybe it's just because Sony has proven. Maybe it's because Sony has proven to me with their games, with their studios, they know how to make not good games, great games. Microsoft has yet to prove to me that they know how to make anything above just an okay game recently, or maybe like a good game if you're looking at Gears 5, but I'm not interested in Gears. They have yet to prove that to me. And so I guess for me, it's just like I'm left feeling disappointed because I used to be hardcore in the Xbox and they lost me and I was hoping they would win me back. And I, I have to give them a little bit of credit. Not everything they showed was bad. You guys heard my hype level for State of Decay 3 and that hype is real. That hype is genuine. Uh, granted, I wish we could have seen more of it and I don't really know what it means for State of Decay 3, but you better believe I'm hyped as hell for that game. But State of Decay 3 alone is not enough to make me suddenly jump on board and be like, yup, they're right back there. They're right back where I wanted them to be after all this time. It's just not. You know, I appreciate the fact that they did show Obsidian's new IP, and I got to give them credit for that. It's a new IP. They're claiming it's going to be AAA. Awesome. But maybe next time show more than like literally 30 seconds of it because I just don't know what it is. You know what I mean? I'm hyped for it, though. The fact that it's new IP, got to give you that credit. You know, uh, Fable, hyped for that, but you got to show more. This isn't the time to tease. This is the, the time to show. That's the important thing for people to understand. Uh, Sony has many unannounced games, maybe Sly 5. That's another thing, too. You know, we heard rumors that apparently Microsoft was planning to hold some stuff back, and maybe that's true, but I just... I don't know if what they're holding back is even if it even matters anymore. Does it matter? Um, Tyler Thunder. Yeah, I got that one. Devin, you're saying the stream is literally the only stream hating. Really? Well, you know what? Then so be it, dude. I'm fine with that. I, I hope people don't perceive it that way. Like I'm just hating for the sake of hating. But I gave my expectations yesterday and I was optimistic. Like, I'm not saying it was terrible. Like, I think that's the thing. Like, people are going to walk away thinking that I was like, oh, my God, this was straight trash. Like, no, it wasn't trash, but God damn, it was not what I expected. It Like, good enough is not good enough at this point for Microsoft. And I'm just going to give it to you clear fucking cut, man. Like, I'm just not bullshitting anymore. Like, good enough is not good enough. I have been burned so badly by Xbox. The amount of money I've invested in their ecosystem just to feel like, holy shit, like they're going in literally the opposite direction I want them to go in. This was their moment. And you know what? Maybe it wasn't for me. You know, maybe it wasn't for me. Maybe some people are left genuinely impressed, but I just, this was not what it should have been in my honest opinion. And I'm not going to sit here because some people be like, what? You're just hating. You're, you're not giving them enough credit. No. I'm giving you my opinion. If you want to hear somebody go, you know, fucking blow smoke up Microsoft's ass and Phil Spencer's ass, then go listen to someone else. But I'm not doing that because that's not what I saw, dude. Like, so, like 
in my opinion, this show would have been 10 times better if Microsoft cut the like the crap that just didn't need to be there. We didn't need to see Destiny 2. We needed to see Jack Black singing a song for two minutes straight or three minutes straight. Okay, we didn't need to see that. Frankly, the Halo gameplay did not need to be as long as it was. Cut the stuff, man, and make it tighter and make the shit you show more impactful and more meaningful. Even Sony could have done that with their show. And this is, again, where Microsoft could have capitalized and they didn't. So I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. Other than that, this is just how I honestly feel. Uh, Obi, you're saying yours is not the only stream. Review Tech hated it. Layman Gaming hated it. Yang thought it was average slash solid. Microsoft needed to hit it out of the park. Oh, I'm glad. I hope so. I hope I'm not the only one because it makes me feel like, geez, like, am I, you know, am I completely out of touch? But I don't think I am, dude. I know what the expectation for this show was because I heard the fanboys. I got to say it one more time here, guys. It's worth repeating. I listened to them. Even the hardest core Xbox dudes were like, do not temper your expectations. And I'm banging my fist together if you're wondering <laughs> what that noise was, because I just realized that probably sounded really weird uh, coming through the mic there. But <laughs> that's what they said. They said, don't temper your expectations. Be hype, you know? And I thought, you know, I... Guys, I want to refer to my Twitter account real quick here. Um, the mic, that feedback you're hearing isn't actually feedback, I don't think. That's actually my neighbor's motorcycle. That's probably what you're hearing. He's driving away now, so you might hear a little bit more. But um, I want to refer to my Twitter today, okay? <laughs> fat, fat, fat. Yeah, I know that's what it sounded like over the mic. I'm sorry about that, guys. But look. Look, okay, so, well, first we have the Furious. You're saying, look at screens from Halo from the Bellion on Twitter. It looks absolutely terrible, genuinely, LOL. I'll have to go check that out. I'm on my Twitter right now. So, look, I put this out in a tweet. I highlighted what Aaron Greenberg said before the show. Uh, we also have Floris. You're saying this event would have impressed if the Fabic Frog uh, would have grown a fairy on its arm, bug snack style. Yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe, dude. I don't know if that would have made it better, but Aaron Greenberg tweeted out when he was asked, like, you know, is this show going to be focused only on next gen? And he tweeted out before the show, he said, Gen 9 heavy, as in like next gen heavy, but not the entire show. That's why we called it a game sh games showcase versus just an Xbox Series X or next gen sh showcase. OK, and so I tweeted that out and I said, how do you guys feel about this? I'm not going to lie. This leaves me feeling a little bit less excited. And I said, I do understand their games are cross gen. Maybe that's what it means. But I don't think the Xbox one should be talked about at all during the show. And that's the thing, man, is like I thought he was referring to the fact that all their games would be cross gen. I didn't think they were actually going to be talking about older games or games that have already been released for a while now in this event. I did not think that's what he meant. And I think that was a huge mistake on Microsoft's part. Orlando, you're saying if Sony announces Silent Hill on top of everything that was already shown, it's a wrap. I'll say it again. This was a good showing, but not a great show, which I feel was needed. Yeah, to me, it was an okay showing. I only say okay because it needed more gameplay. It needed more gameplay and less talk about older games or games we already knew about. Um, and by, by games, when I say games you already knew about, I'm talking about like games that have already been released. Okay. The show needed less of that more gameplay, not a ton of it, just more than what we saw. And it would have been a good show to me. A great show would have meant them just like blowing me away. And they didn't do that. Honestly speaking, uh, Obi, you're saying, Obi Alfred, you're saying what nobody is saying is that Microsoft has been doing nothing before they bought the new studios whose efforts we will only see a few years from now. Exactly, dude. Exactly. I don't want to say that they were doing nothing, but they were doing the bare minimum. Like, they basically said, like, well, we sh like, you're just going to want to wait till next gen, you know? Um, I don't know, man. Like, uh, Ryan, thank you so much for becoming a member, buddy. Really do appreciate you supporting me directly. Look forward to your exclusive member perks. Once again, I'll plug it. Anybody who wants to become a member... Feel free to do so. All you got to do is click the join button. Your direct support really helps you. Thank every. I want to give a big thank you to everybody who hung out with me during the stream, especially those of you who are super chatting. I really do appreciate the super chats. 
and my members. Thank you guys so much. You guys literally make it possible for me to do what I can do on this channel. So, um, I just don't know. I just don't know that Microsoft did what they needed to do. I mean, I'm saying I don't know, but on, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. I do know. They didn't do what they needed to do. Um, all right, here we go. This should be fun. I'm going to do this live. I'm not going to bring it up on screen. You know what? I don't know. Maybe I should bring it up on screen. Let's go. Let's go to... Um, I'm going to open up. Give me a second here. We're going to open up here. If I could click this. Go to Twitter. All right, guys, let's let's check out what's going on on Twitter because I want to do this live before we go or before I go because I just want to see what some people are saying. Um, once again, we still have almost 3,000 people here watching. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button. We're at 2,100 likes, which is awesome. Um, you don't have to hit like if you didn't enjoy the show, but hit like to help support me, support the stream. I don't know if we can get to 2,500 likes. It would be fantastic if we could, but hey, if we can get to 2,200, 2,300, that is amazing. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Let's let's just scroll around here and see what is being said. Um, that Xbox game showcase was a lot to take in. Was it though? Was it a lot to take in? Because I don't think it was that much, to be completely honest right now. Um Sermander Sauce, you're saying I'm confused. The show showed a ton of new IPs that looked interesting. I'm excited to take a look. I wanted more gameplay, but they showed 30 plus games. I mean, that may be true, man. But the question is, like, did those games have the impact that they were supposed to have? In my opinion, they didn't. Maybe I'm just speaking for me. OK, I can't I can't speak for everybody. But for me, it just wasn't good enough, dude. Like the games they showed were not exciting enough. They just weren't. They were not exciting enough. Um, Phil Spencer says, I smiled every time I watched the trailer for Tetris Effect. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, I thought the medium looked pretty good. Uh, here we go. You guys ready? Uh, today's Xbox Game Showcase debuted the largest, most creatively diverse games lineup in console history led by Halo Infinite, giving you a look at the future of gaming. I'm sorry, man. PlayStation's future looks better. PlayStation also gave me a look at the future of gaming with them, and their future looks better. Just being real right now. Xbox 2025 is going to be lit, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the price is going to save Xbox. I don't think so either, dude. I don't. I mean, I don't think Xbox needs saving, but it's not. I don't think it's going to help as much as people think it's going to help. Every game that was shown during Xbox Game Showcase is coming to the Xbox Game Pass. What are people saying here? Sorry to all Xbox fans who had to witness that game reveal. Haha, ha, rest in peace, Fridge. Jeez. Better than the PlayStation event. Oh my God, that can't be real. That can't be real. That's not real. That's not real. There's no way. <laughs> that has to be fake. Right? Right? <laughs> that can't be real. People with these exaggerated. Halo looks phenomenal. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, 12 TF laughing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is, uh, let's keep scrolling here and see what else. Is. I, don't, I don't follow many people. I mainly just follow stuff that can keep me informed, to be completely honest. But I try to look. I do follow Nebelian as well. And people were telling me to look at the images that he showed. Here we go. Oh, geez. I'm looking at these in 4K as well. Oh man, that's not very good. That's that dude, that can't be real. What? What? Oh no, dude. See, I had this thing going where I was saying that if Halo Infinite didn't have an amazing showing, that was really going to hurt Microsoft as well because that's their game, dude. Uh, Jeff Grubb says, It was good. Microsoft confirmed it's working on big games, and Obsidian Skyrim 2 is easily one of the most exciting things announced. It's not... Is it Skyrim? Did they say... It's not Skyrim 2. I mean, it looks like Skyrim, but... Um, but hey, you know what? Obsidian, maybe they could do it. 
He said that's the most one of the most exciting things announced between Microsoft or Sony, and I think Stalker is a pretty big deal. See, I don't know about Stalker. I've seen a lot of people talking about that, but I'm not familiar with it. So maybe that was a bigger game than I realized. I he he says, but I don't expect anyone to get an Xbox Series X instead of PlayStation 5 based on this. That says it all right there. See, you can sit there and point out all the good things, but did it really make a difference? What is this? Oh, why is this? Oh, dude, I'm telling you, this is going to get memed on pretty hard. It's already getting memed on. Um, Okay, this is updating. Let's see. I think this guy's, I don't know who this is, but he's, he's sounds like he's asking for other, um, uh, legacy killer, killer, dear games industry. We can do without CGI trailers that just creates false expectations for what the game will look slash play like. Not sure how many more reveal events we have to get for Ubisoft from Ubisoft, Microsoft, Sony, et cetera, to realize this, just show the actual game. I agree with that 100%. I would be, I mean, ra raise of hands here. How many of us would just be okay if we saw an event from one of these companies, let's just say Sony, and it was literally just gameplay and maybe a cinematic like with the gameplay that's actually in the game, and that's the entire show? I would be totally fine with that because that's, in my opinion, that that's the way you sell games. And that's why I think Sony, they did a pretty good job with their blend. I think Sony could have had more gameplay, and I think they will have more gameplay. We know Sony is infamous not infamous, actually famous for showing like 10 to 15 minute chunks of gameplay. Um, I don't know. Okay. Bit cloud gaming. I'm not familiar with him, but he, he doesn't look happy. <laughs> he doesn't look happy at all. Um, geez, man, this is kind of fun though. Like I love doing this, like seeing what other people have to say. Um, but yeah, oh, dude, this image keeps popping up. Is That's not good. That's not good if this image is real. Like, I'm literally thinking this is a fake image. But if this is real, that's a problem. That is a problem for Microsoft. Halo fans, right? Is that really how Halo fans feel right now? I don't know. I don't know about that. Um... Uh, let's see what Tim Dog says. Tim Dog said says Xbox killed it nine out of ten. Only disappointment was Hellblade two. No gameplay. That was the only disappointment. I don't know about that. State of Decay three biggest surprise. I agree one hundred percent. State of Decay three was awesome, and he says that's triple A. Hopefully he's right. I hope it is triple A. Avowed as well. Avowed looked looked good too. But I, I I feel like see with State of Decay I feel like you know you have an idea of what the game's going to be avowed I feel like when you show a new IP it's critical to make it clear what it's going to be and I will admit it did look very Skyrimish but still I don't know what it's going to be like got nervous at the end with No Fable but Xbox prevailed best place to play glad I stayed true well I mean I guess that's one take man um, if you're happy you're happy you know. I mean, let's be real. Did anybody expect Tim Dog not to be happy about this show? I think it's fine, though. Like, that's fine. I'm not saying, I'm not saying people shouldn't be happy. <laughs> oh, geez, man. That's fine, I guess. I, I mean, I would argue that um what did what did he say was the only disappointment? No Hellblade. I, I mean, not only was that a huge disappointment, I wouldn't say that was the only one. Let's see this image here. Uh, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if that this image is the highest quality, but dude, I'm excited for Fable. Like I am. Another poor show for Microsoft and Sony dominating for the next <laughs> six years again. Microsoft was so busy today that they forgot to shut down Mixer. Damn, that's funny. Uh, Mystic says that showcase was about what I expected for Microsoft. Gee, I don't know if he's low key taking shots there which it was to say it wasn't mind-blowing and people will call it trash or whatever else. At this point, I've said it plenty of times, they're very likely not going to outsell Sony that much. Like, Damn, Mystic seems to be going in uh, a little bit harder here than he normally does, but hey, he's not wrong. He's absolutely not wrong. Um, 
Sorry if I'm ignoring the chat at this point. I'm just interested to see. I figured, because this is what I was going to do when I get off the stream. And I figured, you know, why not? Let's just, uh, you know, let's just do this here. Um, Sorry, give me a second, guys. I want to keep looking, scrolling down here. Huh. Okay, so Windows Central is reporting on Fable. See, you know how I noticed here with the Fable image, it has the badge optimized for Xbox Series X. And it I know it doesn't say here that it's coming to Xbox One, but like surely a game like Fable, which is probably years away, that's not going to be coming to the Xbox One. There's just no conceivable way, correct? I really hope not. Um, let's just keep scrolling along here. Uh, oh my God. People are going in hard, man. They really are. I don't know what she, I don't want to know what she's saying. Um, Jeff Grubb says again, I think I just have different expectations than everyone. I know that I'm going to bounce off of the, of the most of the big games from both Sony and Microsoft. I didn't like Horizon and I probably won't like Halo Infinite, but Bug Snacks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to see who else is going to pop up here because it just there's a lot of people talking about this right now and I'm interested to see some other people's takes, but I don't want to have to go manually searching for everybody. I'm sure a lot of people are streaming like I was, but sorry if I'm scrolling fast here. I'm just trying to trying to get to the meat and potatoes here. I, I mean, maybe we should check the Xbox game showcase. Um... I don't know, guys. I don't know. What are you thinking? What are you guys thinking right now? Uh, this looks like a pretty good image. That's... Dude, this can't be a 4K image. That doesn't look good. That just doesn't look good. That can't be real. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is this accurate? Chat, I want to ask you, is this accurate right now? <laughs> dude, that is funny, though. That's a good one. I want to make that my wallpaper. <laughs> uh, Mercy, you're saying the and the, the, you're saying the only games you liked were State of Decay three and Song of Iron, uh, and that last game was on the pre-show. No Cuphead two, no Killer Instinct, no Banjo, no Hellblade gameplay, no Ninja Guide, and no Lost Odyssey, no Record two, no Rise two. Excuse me, shaking my head. Well, thank you for that super chat, buddy. Um, I need to get this out of here. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Again, there just wasn't enough. Let's see. What are people saying here? Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. Um, sorry, but you just showed trailers and no gameplay except for Halo. Where's the gameplay? Hellblade, Skyrim, and Crossfire are the only ones to watch. People are calling it, it, it wasn't, that wasn't actually Skyrim, right? People are just calling it that because it looked like Skyrim, correct? Dude, this is going to get, this is the new meme, dude. Not good. Not good. Not good. Um, Let me keep checking here. <laughs> yeah, Fable was nice at the end, but I don't know. And it was good. See, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's going to be divisive. The real winner is Xbox Game Pass. Like, I don't think it's fair to say that it was, like, garbage. But I also do not think it's fair to say it was, like, amazing. Like, I come on. Amazing? I don't know about that. I don't. I genuinely just don't think you could call it amazing. But... I think my stream... How long has my stream been going on for... I figured why not? You know, I'll just keep it going for a little bit longer. Um, my God, dude. Uh, wait, what was... Okay. This person says, sorry, but Halo Infinite looks mad. Doom Eternal looks light years better. So I'm assuming these are... For dude, okay, I can't go by this image. This isn't a 4K image. But neither is this, and it, it does look a little bit better. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. This is just... 
How did this happen? Halo 3 versus Halo Infinite. Oh my god. It's... I don't know, dude. I don't know. Like, I thought we were going to see a demonstrable difference. This person says, Me makes a post being hyped to play Halo Infinite. Comments, you shouldn't be happy and it's garbage. PS5 is better by a mile. Seriously, console wars are stupid at AF. Listen, like I agree. Like if somebody's tweeting something out or they're just saying they're excited, you shouldn't go out of your way to like stomp on them. But you got to understand, like there's a reason why a lot of people are not happy at what they're being shown. Um, but this State of Decay trailer was awesome, though. Although I, it's it creeped me the hell out when she like screamed. Like I wasn't expecting that. Um, Rob, you're saying love your content, MBG. We need to keep spreading your wisdom to reach more people. Well, thank you so much, buddy. If you want to do that, guys, help the stream out. Hit the like button to help it out. Join the channel, become a member, subscribe if you haven't, share the channel out, all that good stuff. I really appreciate all the support. Phil Spencer says Halo Infinite is the spiritual reboot for Xbox's signature franchise. So it's okay, it's a reboot then. Absolute system seller. <laughs> um, couldn't you guys just go back to its roots, make Halo what it used to be instead of trying to reinvent the wheel? It was already a fantastic system. You just have to improve on it, not change it to be unrecognizable. Sorry, I'm upset. Halo is special to me. Jeez. That's on Phil Spencer's timeline too. Okay, this guy says, as an Xbox and Halo fan, I thought Infinite was really solid. Um... And I'm excited to explore that world. However, with all due respect, I wonder if Xbox One is holding back this game. Damn. Damn. I didn't really see anything that made this game look like a next-gen Halo. Now, to my bigger point, I haven't seen anything that makes me feel like I need to upgrade to the Xbox Series X right away. I feel I should hold off on upgrading my Xbox One X and just buy a PS5. Dude, no way. <laughs> I thought for sure this guy's comment was going to be nothing but positivity, but even he's like, hey, I loved Halo and I love what you saw, but I think I'm going to buy a PS5. <laughs> Dude, it's hard not to laugh. I'm sorry. Uh, Pauly, you're saying Obsidian Scrolls, my friend. That's the new name for them and good. This was average. The real question, will people buy Xbox over the PS5? Like the guy said, Adrian, you're saying, did they show anything running on the actual system? All I saw was in-engine I really don't understand what they are doing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. You even had people here on Phil Spencer's timeline uh, responding, saying, like, look, I liked Halo, but they're literally saying, he says, I'm not seeing that Series X factor yet, which is a bummer. Jesus, dude. Not good. See, there's just, there's a real issue, guys. I got to tell you. There's a serious issue for Microsoft when your biggest marketing factor for your next-gen console is bragging about power and 12 T-flops, and people are memeing on your biggest game, and your biggest game is basically being made fun of, which I'm not... Guys, I told you. I told you. Who's been telling you that you're gonna see games fundamentally to a certain extent held back, but frankly, this is kind of... This is... This is off-putting. This is staggering. Okay, what is this? Th like, this is beyond what people were expecting. Like, when I told you guys, you know, you'll see some games held back. This isn't what I was talking about. This is worse than I suspected. All right? Just being honest. Just being honest. Um, Made on Unreal Engine 1. Dude, it's not looking good. That's nowhere near a reboot. This was a reboot. A reboot reinvents something. This looks like every other Halo ever. Damn. You know, guys, I don't know. I, um... I don't know, guys. I thought it would be... Anyone else notice the HoloLens in the trailer? I didn't notice that. Yeah, I thought when they first showed this here, like that intro, I thought that's what the graphics were going to look like. I was like, holy shit, like they're not playing around. And of course, that's not what we got. Why does this keep popping up, damn it? I don't want that there. Um, wow, okay. I don't know who this individual is, but they said, I really want Xbox to be cool, but I feel like I've been looking at this game screenshot for like 15 years now. Jeez. Oh, uh, uh, this guy says one is a 
PlayStation 4 launch title, and the other is Halo Infinite. Big yikes. And I want you guys to know, I'm not trying to hate on Halo Infinite right now. I'm just literally showing, like, what people are saying. And granted, like, this is all in a vacuum. I'm not trying to make it sound like this isn't in a vacuum. I'm not trying to make it sound like, you know, um, this is the worst thing ever. I'm just showing you, like, what people are saying. You saw right underneath Phil Spencer himself. If anybody's account should have nothing but positivity, it should be that. Oh, not good, dude. Even Okay, yeah, Nibble says, uh, Nibble says, I think Halo Infinite looks decent in motion, but dot, 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 man. You know, I'm not going to lie, guys. I kind of thought Halo didn't look that good because it was my stream <laughs> and I was watching it through a stream. But now you know why. Maybe this is why, guys. Maybe this is why, uh, you know... All these Xbox dudes, all they've been saying is you just wait till they talk about 60 FPS and, you know, 120 frames per second. I'm like, dude, frame rate's great and all, but that's not going to help this situation. Oh, my God. <laughs> they played us like a damn fiddle. I don't know, chat. What are you guys thinking? Um, What are you guys thinking right now? I don't mean to just keep this going, but I'm, again, this is just what I would be doing once I get off the stream anyway, so I figured I'll just do it with you guys. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's getting memed on pretty hard. Oh, jeez. I'm starting to feel a little bad. Because, like, dude, I'm on PlayStation, man, and I'm all aboard that PlayStation 5 hype train, but I... I just didn't think it would be this like bad. I, I to be honest, I even expected that maybe I would be off the mark a little bit. Like maybe I would be going in too hard against Microsoft, but I'm looking at the general consensus here. You know what I want to look at? Here we go. Uh Darkland22, you're saying you give the stream a C minus. Yeah, I agree. Let's look for um let's look at Xbox. Let's go to their actual uh, page here and see what people are saying. Disappointing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> really? Uh, all right, here we go. This looks like a fair comment. You ready? I hate console wars, so I'm not going to compare them but a lot of Xbox fans has been hyping Halo up compared to all the games Sony have released. And from the demo we saw, Sony has a better showcase, in my opinion. Uh, but we what we've seen is only a demo, so it's not the final look. Yeah. All right. That's one of the most upvoted comments. That's also one of the most upvoted comments. Um, Alex, you're saying, what games did they release? I missed the whole thing. Uh, well, this guy kind of sums up Halo Infinite, State of Decay 3, Fable, Scorn, The Medium, Crossfire X Campaign, Stalker 2, Forza, Avowed, Hellblade 2, Psychonauts 2, Xbox Series X Day 1. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, it's not all bad. Like, there's a lot of games here that I would, well, maybe not a lot, but at least some I'd want to play. I'm definitely going to, I'm going to buy a Series X for State of Decay 3. I'll tell you that right now. If I don't get one at launch, I will get one for State of Decay 3. I love that series, and I'm so excited to see what they're going to do. Out of everything listed right here, uh, State of Decay 3 is the thing I'm looking forward to. And Hellblade 2. Hellblade 2 as well. I think Hellblade 2 looks good, but that's about it. Chris, you're saying, remember how butthurt Xbox was when people memed X-Bone? I wonder how they'll react to these Halo memes. Yeah, dude. Those Halo images are not good. Flop of the year. Jeez. I think it's... Guys, am I off the mark on this one? Let me know. If this Halo does poorly, which I don't think it will only because I think Game Pass is going to save it, right? But if it really, like, doesn't do well, what do you think is going to happen to Halo? You know, do you think at that point it's time for Microsoft to find a new mascot or something? I don't know. It's just what I'm thinking. Oh, uh, look at this. 1.8 teraflops versus 12 teraflops. You guys weren't kidding. You guys weren't kidding. I don't know why this image won't load up, but yeah. Um, 
All right, let's continue to look at what is being said here. So that's a wrap on the Xbox Game Showcase. Let's see what is being said. Cue the rush of butthurt Sony fanboys. I'm going to be real right now, Jill Valentine. I don't think any Sony fans are butthurt. I really don't think so, man. Mercy Buckets, you're saying Sony saw the show and now will raise the price of the PlayStation 5 because they are confident they have no competition. PS5 it is. Hey, I'm not hoping they raise the price. I doubt they will. The price is probably already set, but Sony must be feeling pretty good. But uh, it that's a wrap on Xbox. Full stop. I'm moving to PlayStation. Even Halo didn't impress me, and I've watched it again in 4K. Medium looked good, but no gameplay. We were promised mic drop moments and got lied to again. I've been an X been at with Xbox since the start. Wow. And here we have the famous image popping up everywhere. Um stated to K3, no gameplay. Forza, no gameplay. Everwild, no gameplay. Avowed, no gameplay. As Dusk Falls, no gameplay. Hellblade 2, no gameplay. Stalker 2, no gameplay. Dark Tide, no gameplay. Fable, no gameplay. That's the most upvoted uh comment so far amazing job knocked it out of the park xbox series x day one see i don't get that i mean i get it like if you think they did an amazing job that's fine but knocked it out of the park who the hell is thinking that i mean honestly i just need to know are am i the only one that really liked halo no there's definitely i there's definitely people who are going to be like you're going to see a situation where people are going to force positivity this is what happens every time guys when you see like when there's a lot of pushback on something, you're going to see a lot of pushback from the people who just all they want to do is be optimistic all the time. You know, like I could be honest and I could tell you, like, I was a little bit weirded out when I saw Bug Snacks and Volcano High and shit during the PlayStation 5 stream. I call, I was like, this is a little weird, but, you know, like it's losing me a little bit. I was willing to do that. But these people who are like, knocked it out of the park, like. Well, <laughs> oh my God, this one's good. Xbox fanboys after this underwhelming event. You got to love it, man. You got to love it. Um, Made me more excited for the August Sony event, to be honest. Damn. Don't care what you say. Halo Infinite looks absolutely fine. See that right there. That right there. Don't care what you say. Already lets us know exactly what you think. And that's fine. Like, we get it. You think Halo looked absolutely phenomenal, but you need to acknowledge the fact that not everybody is on board with that statement. There's a lot of people who are not happy, apparently. And so, you know, it doesn't mean it's going to be a bad video game. Maybe not. Probably not. But still, like, you have to acknowledge that people were hoping for more. Loved it. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I... Okay. Um... And again, like, I, I know that there's going to be people who love it, but I don't know, man. I just, like, I guess all I'm trying to say is I don't want people to th believe, and I don't think people will believe this. I don't want people to believe that what we're seeing right now is just, oh, like, people are going to hate on it just for the sake of hating on it, you know? Like, that's not, that's not true. Like, that's not true at all. Like, people are usually pretty honest with these things. Are there people who are going to go out of their way to hate on it? Yeah, of course there are. But, I mean, this is just, I don't know. Let's do a little bit longer. I'll go for a couple more minutes here, guys. Maybe I'll go to 2.30. You guys have showed great support for the stream, and I really appreciate that. Um, Ekim, you're saying Sony not holding themselves back for cross-gen. Microsoft seems to be. Sony is making the right choice, pushing pushing the bar forward by having PS5 exclusives. I agree 100%, dude. And I think we're seeing some of that validated here. I really do. A new era of Xbox games is arriving, introducing the largest, most creatively diverse games lineup in console history, led by Halo Infinite. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, I love this. I love this right here because this says a lot, okay? Uh, Halo Infinite, Gamers, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. We need to acknowledge this shit right here. All these Xbox dudes going on and on and on about how you're going to see the difference. There's a performance delta and games are going to look so good. You wait. Games are not going to be held back. And at the same time, they are talking shit 
about Spider-Man Miles Morales being like, that's a last gen game. That game can easily be run on the PS4. Sony's being anti-consumer. They're trying to trick you, you know, with the smoke and mirrors and pull the wool over your eyes and whatnot. And it's just like, no, dude, just stop. Take a good look at those uh, those Halo Infinite screenshots and stop talking about Spider-Man Miles Morales because Halo Infinite doesn't have anything on. And you know what? Spider-Man Miles Morales isn't even the full-blown sequel. Jesus. Here we go with the exclusive lists. Yeah, I don't I don't know, man. I, I, I keep saying that, but I do know. But Rob, you're saying The Last of Us 1 on PS3's faces looked better than Halo Infinite. That's kind of scary to think. I hope that's not true. Um, damn. <laughs> oh, dude, I love the I love it. See, this is why it's so damn entertaining. Um, this person says, what? I almost feel sorry for PS5 at this point. Xbox is just bullying them with all these great exclusives, 22 games in a row. Wow, that's sick. I can't, dude, I can't even tell if this guy's serious. Like, is he serious? <laughs> um, I can't believe you guys disappointed me so much. I had hope. That hope is no more. Even the Halo gameplay looked shite. That's it. I'm getting a PS5. Okay, but why lie? You said this would have more gameplay, yet you only showed gameplay for Halo Infinite and everything else was a trailer or CG cinematic. At the very least, I'm going to be real right now. At the very least, they honestly should have showed uh, Hellblade 2 gameplay. Like, they really, really should have showed that. I think that would have helped a lot. Um, I wasn't expecting Halo... Uh, not Halo. Um, like, State of Decay gameplay. Maybe Forza gameplay, but that would have been a little bit redundant uh i feel like they definitely could have showed maybe uh as i said more of fable console wars i'll leave this here for the playstation fanboys that have xbox notice on console war see these people they're just upset man like they're upset because like don't get me wrong are there guys are there playstation dudes who just go in too hard too often of course same thing i mean they're gonna see it on both sides but um Look, see this guy right here. He says, bro, I play on PlayStation, but I respect y'all Xbox players, man. I don't know why some people just want to bash others. And that's the thing. Like, it's not necessarily about bashing. It's just so much. It, it's this right here. It's this right here. 2014, Xbox boss Phil Spencer says uh, E3 2014 will have the best lineup in a long time. 2015, Microsoft to have greatest games lineup in Xbox history at E3 2016, Xbox head Phil Spencer, E3 2016 could be one of our most special years ever. 2017, Xbox Phil Spencer or Xbox's Phil Spencer says more exclusive games than in 2016. 2018, Xbox One Games News, E3 2018 will be Microsoft's biggest Xbox show ever. 2019, uh, Phil Spencer <laughs> says... E3 2019 teases unannounced games and xCloud progress. Well, at least he didn't overhype at that time. But in 2019, Phil said, I'm more excited. Now, this one isn't written here, but Phil said, I'm more excited for the games we didn't show. Uh, Danny, you're saying the problem with Xbox fans is that they have no, not experienced PlayStation exclusives for themselves. So they think what Microsoft is showing now is good. We know PlayStation exclusives are light years ahead. Yeah, I agree with that as well, man. Like, that's where I do believe that these guys need to play some of these games and stop downplaying them so much, honestly. And maybe you're right. Maybe they haven't experienced them. Dieter Rouge, you're saying maybe the Halo footage was the Nintendo Switch version. Oh, damn, you're going in hard, man. Going in hard. Let's continue on a little bit more here. I love you, Xbox, but what the F was that? Yeah, yeah. This guy says, yeah, as an Xbox fan, that S was kind of hot garbage. This guy says, really, I enjoyed the variety of games and I'm pretty excited for most of what I saw. I mean, look, I think it's fair for somebody to respond. It's because, like, you know, I mean, is it garbage? No, it's not garbage. Like, come on, it's not hot garbage. That's being a little bit hyperbolic, but. Ah, jeez, <laughs> Dude. I swear, some people are straight ungrateful. Dude, listen, that is not a fair stance to take. It's not, okay? Not when you have Phil Spencer saying the things he's saying. Not when you have the fanboys hyping it up the way they've been hyping it. Not when Xbox has been letting people down 
over and over and over again. No, that's not the approach we're taking here. We're not going to thank Xbox for doing what they should be doing or, you know, frankly, failing to meet the bare minimum expectation. I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah, I am. Ex I am definitely excited, though, to see what Fable is going to look like from Playground Games. But I'm having to, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this, guys. I really am. Um, let's see. All right, let's go back. Let's go home one more time. Look things over. Let's see what people are saying here. Um, what is that noise? There's something outside. I don't know what that noise is. Uh, well, it does have to work on the Xbox One too. LMAO. The Last of Us 2 and God of War are PS4 games that look leaps and bounds better than anything they showed. Uh, here's my take. I think it looks fine. It's not great, but fine. As long as it looks fine and plays fine, that's good for me. I'm sick of games pushing realism everywhere when it doesn't need to be. Halo is a series that I think looks best with less realism and more. Okay. I mean, I guess that's one take. This guy's saying he likes, I guess, the less realistic. I mean, look, I'm going to be real right now, Darkstorm. Like, I don't think this has anything to do with it looking less realistic. I don't think that's the problem here. But hey, guys at PlayStation seeing the reactions on Twitter... <laughs> guys on PlayStation seeing the reactions on Twitter. It says over 400 upvotes. Didn't expect to come across this W while having my wine, but here we are. Dude, that's rough. That's rough, man. This is a little ridiculous. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it. This stream is getting like way... It's going on way too long. My neighbor, I think, is outside weed whacking, and that's probably coming up with a mic, and it's most likely really obnoxious, but I got to tell you guys, this was a really fun stream. Okay. Like I hope that I didn't piss anybody off too much, but I already know how some people are going to be. They're going to be like, Oh my God, like you're just shitting on Xbox. But Hey, you got my honest live reaction. Mixer is dead. Halo infinite. I don't know. Um, didn't seemingly impress everybody as it should have, but there was some good stuff and I don't know. Listen, listen, we'll, we'll reconvene. This Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern, Press X Podcast. I hope to see you guys there. We're definitely going to talk more about this. Should be a good time. I want to give a just a big shout out and a big thank you to everybody who stopped by for the stream, everybody who's been hanging out with me, especially those of you who've been hanging out the whole time. It's been a very long stream. I want to give a big thank you to everybody who donated Super Chats. That really means a hell of a lot to me, and it goes a long way. Thank you so much. I want to give a big thank you to my members, those of you who just joined and those of you who are members. And I will let you know, for those of you who are here and are members, look forward to uh, the upcoming MBG and Friend uh, uh, Gamecast, where we're going to give our thoughts and impressions on Ghost of Tsushima. That one may go public. I'm not sure yet, but uh, also look forward to potentially a members-only stream, hopefully. So yeah, it was a really good time, guys, and I really appreciate all the support you guys have shown me. So I'm going to ask one last time before you guys head out to hit that like button. We are almost at 2,500 likes. If we could get to 2,500 likes before this is ended, then that would just be amazing. But once again, thank you guys. I will catch you later. I'm probably, this is probably going to be the only content that goes out today. Look forward to some type of video tomorrow. Actually, I just noticed PlayStation is trending for some reason. I'm sure has a lot to do with what's going on, but uh, I hope I did, did I miss some kind of big announcement. It doesn't seem like it, but yeah. All right, guys. Um, this is probably going to be the only uh, content I put out today. So look forward to maybe a video tomorrow, um, Saturday, and then we'll do our stream, our, our podcast on Sunday. So, all right, guys, I got to go eat and look over everything that's been going on, but I will catch you guys later. Take care.